Welcome to ACN Sports Football, a special presentation of the Alabama Cable Network and our affiliates all across the state of Alabama. Since our beginning 34 years ago with Dora High School Football, we have consistently provided coverage of high school and college sports. This program is brought to you in part by Carl Cannon Chevrolet Buick Cadillac and GMC, by Green Top Barbecue, and by other sponsors on our local games throughout our coverage area in 40 counties and over a half a million homes on Charter. Now, stay tuned for today's broadcast. ACN Sports, we've got the game. Hello again, football fans, and welcome in to another great Friday night of high school football here on WOTM Television as we bring you the Dora Bulldogs against the Hamilton Aggies coming to you now from Horace Roberts Field in Dora. Buddy Sparkman, along with Mr. Donnie Early behind the camera, joining us here on the Green Top Barbecue pregame show, Dora High School head football coach Bart Lockhart. Coach, first of all, welcome in. Let me uh, ask you about your team's response this week. Didn't get the results we wanted last week. How's your week going? Uh Monday was a little slow, uh, but we picked it up on Tuesday, and we've and since Tuesday we've had uh, some good practices, and so uh, I'm looking for our team to bounce back tonight. Coach, do you look for leaders to step out of the shadows at times like this and, and kind of do what leaders do, don't you? Yeah, we had a conversation about the exact same thing. Is uh, It's easy to lead when things are going good. Uh, you know, your true leaders come up when you don't get what you want. And so, uh, so we've had some leaders emerge this week, and I'm really proud of, of the way that those guys responded. Coach, talk about your opponent tonight, just a little bit, the Hamilton Aggies. Uh, undefeated right now, pretty good-looking ball team. Seems like every year Dora and Hamilton kind of run head-in-head head as far as talent and everything. They are a, a very good ball team. Um, they are a lot like us, and we're on the small end of 5A, so very comparable uh, in our size of our school and, and things like that. But they play hard, and uh, they're well coached, and uh, we're going to be in for a dogfight. Coach, last thing, everybody uh, knows you. Uh, Talk just for a moment, if you would, a little bit about your coaching staff. I, I know you hadn't, you don't get a chance to mention them often. Some of the folks on here really probably don't know a lot of them. Well, um, I've not done much good in my life, but I think the two best things I've ever done is pick my wife and the coaching staff we've got here at Door High School. We've got some great guys, um, Houston Powell, Johnny Safford, Daniel Evans, Justin Blevins, Antoine Currington, Jace Trotter, uh, Jace Cordell, and Stone Smith, and they do an excellent job in helping us build young men uh, first. Uh, they're great character guys. They do, uh, they live what we try to be and what we try to teach, and, and I, I couldn't ask for a better staff. Coach, as always, thank you for joining us here on the Green Top Barbecue pregame show. Best of luck tonight. Hope we get a big regional win against Hamilton, and we'll talk about it next week up at East Lawrence. Thank you so much. Appreciate right. it. Thank you, Coach. Friends, again, thank you for joining us here on the Green Top Barbecue pregame show, brought to you by our good friends, Tony Hedrick, all the fine folks at Green Top Barbecue, and Dora, as well as Jasper. We're going to step out for a moment, take a break, be right net back for tonight's kickoff between the Dora Bulldogs and the Hamilton Aggies. Stay with us, everybody. Hello everyone, this is Jennifer Weathers, Demi Post Coordinator here at Ken Glover Drug and Dora, and I want to personally invite you in for a one-of-a-kind shopping experience that's found nowhere else locally. Ken Glover Drug is your one-stop source for all your pharmacy and Demi Post needs. Items include canes, crutches, wheelchairs, and seat lift chairs. Other items may include hospital beds, patient lifts, and home respiratory items such as oxygen, CPAP, BiPAP, and nebulizers. DME might also include supplies such as insulin pumps, CPAP, GM or continuous glucose monitoring supplies, diabetic testing supplies and shoes, as well as ostomy and catheter supplies. DME, HME, as it is often referred to, is a covered benefit with most all insurances, and Ken Glover Drug prides itself on being one of the only local providers that will file an insurance for the portable oxygen concentrator like the OxyGo pictured here. Be sure to visit us on the web or also stop in soon and see our large selection of items and accessories and chat with one of our reps on how they these items can benefit you. Hi, this is Philip Walker, Family Ministries Pastor at Summerton Church of God. I want to invite all 6th through 12th graders out to worship with us weekly, Wednesday nights at 6.30 p.m. in our Family Life Center. You are alive.
We want to recognize two classes uh, from Dora High School. First, Norman, the class of 58 and 59. This was and, the first uh, undefeated team at Dora High School, coached by Wallace Reed. The teams from 58, 59, and 60 lost a combined total of two games, and they set the standard that is now Dora football. These teams outscored opponents 302 to 63. <laughs> Today, representing the team from 1958 and 59, Fred Shellnut, who is not, a bit not able to be here, is represented by his children, Benny and Rodney Shellnut, in his memory. The running back, Rabbit Martin. And quarterback, Ray Jenkins. The 1979 team, 78-79 team is the first team in Dora High School history to make the playoffs. This team was coached by Don Cox and won a combined total of 10 games with two losses. They lost on a questionable call to Gardendale in the playoffs 21 to 15. Here representing the class of 78 and 79, Jay Holiday, Bo Morrison, Joey Adderholt, Michael Smoot, Mike Gibbs, Donnie Early, Steve Smith, William Satterwhite, Wayne Sanford, Greg Black, and Rodney, Rodney Shellnut, excuse me. And 2019 Walker County Hall of Famer, Norman Holt. Thank you gentlemen for the standard that you've set here at Dora High School that's still affecting so many today. Let's give these men a, a round of applause. Back in on the Green Top Barbecue pregame show as the Dora Bulldogs make their way on to Horace Roberts Field. We want to bring in my longtime broadcast partner, Mr. Green Top himself, Tony Hedrick. Tony was talking about it in the pregame a little bit. Uh, you're going to uh, see what kind of leadership you got on your team tonight. Getting, didn't get the results you wanted last week, and it's going to be really interesting to see how the Bulldogs come out. Yeah, it took one tough on the chin, you know, and it's been you know, – talked to the coaches this week. They've had a great week of practice to get prepared for this Hamilton Aggies team. You know, this team coming in, I think they're 2-0 and on the season now, and it's going to be, you know, a tough ball game tonight. It's going to be a fight. And, Tony, before we kick off here, tell these good folks where they can find some green top barbecue. Dora, Alabama, the original location, 205-648-9838, our Jasper location. Up between Highway 5 and 195, 205-221-2244. Tony, a kid we're going to keep our eyes on tonight from Hamilton, number one, Jathan Jackson. That, that kid's a special athlete. He'll be all over the field. And for Dora, uh, we're going to see quarterback Matthew Busby, number 10. See if he can kind of settle down a little bit this week. He, yeah. he had a lot of nervous feet last week. Of course, yeah, he, last, he had a reason to. You know, had a, had a big rush after him all night long and just really just had a – had a, you know, just to, like the rest of the Bulldogs did, just as a total team effort, just had a really rough night. But I tell you, I think Walker, or Jasper, excuse me, is going to be, is going to do that to a lot of teams. They've got an offensive and defensive line with a lot of size and speed. Number 99, Brady Spradlin, the senior, will tee it up for Dora at the 40. And I meant to ask him, talk to him about them shoes, but they are the color of the Powerade jug so I won't say anything to that 
Onside kick by Dora. Get on it, Bulldogs. You, ain't, you can grab it. That's, that's was, Bulldog football right well, there. the Towns kids <laughs> recovered the onside kick. Something looked like the Hamilton Aggies were in, in really tight like that. And just a great call by Coach Lockhart and his special team staff. Then. Recovered by the Bulldogs. Yeah, Hamilton they just never made a play on the football. And the Dora kids, they actually didn't have to let it hit. But luckily, it bounced right back to one of them. I think my son actually had a chance to get it. But it, he jumped. He wasn't quite Michael Jordanish with it. So Dora have first and 10 on the plus side of the field to begin the ball game at the 44-yard line. Busby will be back in shotgun formation. He'll have one back behind him. Fake the handoff, and he'll give it to Marcel Davidson. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Marcel Davidson, the ball carrier. And, and I would imagine that Hamilton, after watching the film last week, they've, they've really played some tough defense this year. They're going to really stack the line and keep Dora and make them have to throw the football to beat you. So if, I'm, if you're Coach Lockhart here, you might want to go ahead and try something England here just to try and loosen up that defense. Down, Number one, Wilkinson wide left for the Bulldogs. Number 11, Goodman wide right. Reset Boone Martin to the left side of the formation. High snap, but we got a whistle. May have, it's not a play clock situation. Let's see what it is. Almost always going to get a false start right here. And that's exactly what it is. Dora moves the kids around this week on the line. Move Bubba from his guard position to the to the center position tonight. With Kalijah Bell at one tackle, with Big Christian Wade at the other. Uh, Tony, now we come out with Goodman and Wilkinson both wide to the left side. Busby now standing on the Aggie 45 in shotgun formation. He looks the sideline. He calls his play second down and 16. Fake the handoff, hit it quickly outside to Goodman, try to get him a running room, breaks an initial tackle inside the 45, down to the Aggie 44, back to the original line of scrimmage, so it'll bring third and 10. Yeah, a, a good, nice, safe throw that time to get it, to get his feet there, but you're going to have to possibly look at That's a new wrinkle, the way we ran that then. You may try and get something where you fake that and then try and hit one of them deep. Trips to the right this time. <clears throat> For the Bulldogs, third down and long. Got Jamal Harris in the slot to the right side this time. Coach Lockhart changing the play now. He's got it in. Five seconds on the play clock. Good snap. Quarterback's going to roll right, looking, looking. Gets his pass off over the middle and through the hands of defender back there, and it'll go incomplete, and the Bulldogs have to punt. Number two, McCray Kraken for the Aggies may have got a hand on that pass that time. It was a good, good play call that time. Really moved Matthew out that time, getting him just out on the edge, and they gave him a good look. Just still a good play by the defense that time. Aggie's going to drop back deep. Number seven back there would be a Bryant Loving. Brady Spradlin be standing at his 42-yard line. Snap coming from Boone Martin. And we have another flag. False start to call against And Dora. we got another snap infraction or false start, I mean, from the offense. So that'll back them up five more yards. This is not the start that you needed on offense after you come up with a great onside kick to start the ball game, but still give you a chance now to pin Hamilton back deep. And it is hot in Dora, Alabama on September the 13th, I can tell you that much. High wobbling kick from Spradlin. Fair catch called for on a knee at the 12 yard line. Time out on the field, we'll take it with and be right back with you here after these words. The Omelette Shop in Summerton offers diners the most delicious breakfast, lunch, and dinners. Serving up your favorite breakfast meals from our famous omelets to our delicious pancakes. We offer daily lunch specials with half price meals Monday through Wednesday. Whether you're dining in or carrying out, Christy Hollis and her friendly staff will make sure to satisfy your hunger. The Omelette Shop is located across from Walmart in Summerton and open seven days a week to serve you. Come eat at the Omelette Shop! 
Come by and see Paula Birmingham at Revival Salon located on Highway 78 in Dora. They have five highly trained professionals on staff specializing in all the latest haircutting techniques and styles. They do coloring, extensions, and color correcting. Revival Salon also specializes in hair and makeup for pageants, weddings, and proms. If you're in need of a new look, visit Revival Salon located on Highway 78 in Dora. And back in Hamilton Aggies ready for their first possession of the ball game. 10 26 to go in the first quarter. Number one, the man we talked about, Jathan Jackson. He'll trigger it all for the Aggies. Going to roll back, hand the ball off. Number five going across the left side. Got good running room out across the 20, 23 yard line, that is. Day Day Johnson. Looked like. Hamilton did a good job just on the, the sweet play that time, just the lead out to the outside, just the offense you're used to seeing. Doors had a really tough time uh, stopping the run this year. And Johnson gives the Aggies the initial first down of the ball game. His name is Robert Johnson, but in parentheses, they've got D-A-D-A, -D -A, I guess that's Day-Day, or no. Dad-Dad, -Dad, I don't know what it is. All right, here we go, Aggies, back at it. First and 10. Quarterback wants to keep it this time, and he'll do so around right in at the 25, and he's going to be tackled by Wilkinson up around the 28. Nice tackle that time by D. Wilkerson then. Going to be a gain of five. Actually a gain of four yards on first down, second and six. Tony, we noted in the pregame, you was telling me that Ronnie Waldrop has moved back to linebacker for the Bulldogs tonight. Got yeah, Ike Hosea starting at the other defensive end position, it looks like now. And off again, coming around the left side. This is Johnson. And he's going to be forward the to the 30 yard line. Gonna bring up a third down in about three. Third, third and two, maybe. Made by Harris. They will gain about four more yards. Two yards remain. It's third down. Yeah, Dora has not been able against this the wing tee. They're going to have to slow them down on first and second down on these runs and get them in positions where they've got to throw the football. Dora's not been able to get any penetration and stop in any of these running lanes yet. Third down and two for the Aggies. And it off to the up back this time, runs it into the hole, gets stood straight up. He's close to the marker. Tony, you'll have to see where they spotted at. Give it credit that time, moved Ronnie Walter, like we talked about, out to the, back to the middle linebacker position. Him and Jaden McDavid that time did a lot better job filling that time to stop. Still, they only had to have a yard, yard and a half to get the first down, but still stopped and made it where at least was close that time. So it was like the defense may be getting a little bit more in the the swing of things here. Number 29 angle in the up back on that carry gets the necessary two. So second first down of the ball game for Hamilton. Nose of the football at the 32 now. Give it off to him again. A good job right there. That's 27 for door on that tackle, Tony. Harrison that time Harrison. will stop as 20 number 27. Made by Matthew Harrison for Dora. They will gain about a yard at second down. So good job by the door defense so far. Looks like they're playing the run a little bit better than what we did last week. Yeah, we're we're really it seems like we're tightening up just a little bit now. We got in some third down situation, had some costly penalties to start the game last week. Hamilton puts two receivers out to the right. Jackson's going to step back, looking right the whole way, looking, looking. Got his man out there, and he's got the ball. At the Dora 39 yard line, that's going to be a pickup of 27 yards and another first down. Nice throw that time by the quarterback, Jackson out to Walker there, really had one on one coverage against the safety. Harrison is in on the last stop, so good call by this Hamilton coaching staff. That's really, Tony, I was watching them warm up. That's really the only pass they threw in warm ups right down the sideline. They didn't throw anything over the middle. So that must be their go-to pass. Number eight, he'll step out wide left this time. John Tucker for the Aggies. Quarterback wants to keep it, and he does. We got a flag comes flying in right at the point 
of the line right there. Let's see what that's all about. Should be a holding call. There is a flag on the plate. To that number three, Christian Loving's a very good looking athlete too back there. We've got holding against the Aggies. Be their first penalty of the ball game. That's the situation you would like to see them end tonight back behind the chains here. Ball will be moved to midfield. And Tony, from what you're watching, if you're Dora, you're not going to get a lot of possessions in this ball game with this ball control offense Hamilton is running. So you're going to have to be pretty efficient. I'd second down and 20, or first down and 20. And the ball off this time. Good job by the door defense coming up quickly right there. That's the old Sally play there. Door did a great job staying at home on the backside for that. Number 15, Staten comes up quickly. Second down and 19. Now clock moving, 7.20 to go in the first quarter. Very quickly paced first quarter and you know we're past the time for heat timeouts might need it tonight worse I, than we did first game I think you are correct I see what the Aggies come up with here and Jathan Jackson standing back on the Bulldog 47 he'll reset angling to his left fake the handoff quarterback pressure from Ronnie Walter don't get a pass off over there intercepted by Dora coming Stanley back this State. way with it at the 50, at the 45, and all the way to the 41-yard line. Excuse me, that's one of the town's kids, number 26. And I'm not for sure if that's Caleb or Caven. Number 26 is Caven Towns. Nice job by the Door Bulldogs there. But they played that well then. Return to the Aggie territory. Ball placed at the 41. First down, Bulldogs. So an eight-play drive, Tony Ford. Hamilton goes for nothing as Caven Town steps in front of that pass. Just an errant throw by Jathan Jackson. Now, Dora's got good field position. Tony, you think you want to try to capitalize right here? Yeah, it yeah, really just started then the defense by getting the penalty, getting them back in the position then. Here goes Jamal Harris, and he's going to stay on his feet and Jamal break Harris. a tackle forward for about four yards, maybe five. Good run by Jamal that time, First really just, get, just getting us a few Very yards, getting us set up for the second yards. down situation. We're down. really just trying to just keep pop, pop, pop. And we've got Aki, who's more probably of our home run threat back there. Hopefully see him break through this line. We'll take one for a touchdown. Second down and actually seven. Now second and seven for the Bulldogs. I had snap, going to be falling on back in Aggie, ter Aggie territory at the 49 by Busby. Tony, a loss of 13 yards. Good job by Busby just to fall on that ball and not try and do anything with it. Just go ahead and just take the loss on the play. And we've got a timeout on the field. We'll take it with them. Be right back with you after these messages. We want to thank our... If your car or truck is in need of repair, then you need to come by Summiton Auto Care. Owner Wayne Greathouse and all of his technicians are ASE certified, so you know your repair will be done right. What sets them apart from other shops? They are a TechNet member, offering a 24-month, 24 24,000-mile roadside assistance on major repairs. They install engines, transmissions, they do heating and air work, or any other work your automobile may need at the best price. So go by and see them today at Summiton Auto Care or give them a call at 648-3003. The Edwards Agency has been in business for over 40 years, serving our customers in Jefferson and Walker County. At the Edwards Agency, we put personal touch in personal insurance. We have a dedicated staff of licensed agents that will help you in finding the best coverage available at a competitive rate. Allow our agents to help navigate you through all the coverage limitations and exclusions so you can make an informed decision on the best coverage and best protection for your insurance needs. The Edwards Agency, with two locations to serve you in Summerton and in Jasper. Welcome back in, friends. I want to mention some more of our great sponsors here on WOTM. Ken Glover Drugs here in Dora for all your prescription medical supply needs, 648-9918. also want to mention A to Z Body Shop out at Jasper, our good buddy Troy Nash, 221-2095. For all your dents and dings, paint needs for your automotive 
autom automobiles and everything. Also, my good buddy, Pastor Victor Massey, and folks at Sumpton Church of God, Philip Walker Youth Pastors, Pastor Jamie Massey, 648-3257. Door now third and long. Busby loads a big right arm up and under throws his receiver, and Dora will be Ben punt formation once again. Looks like we may have had him open early, but just couldn't get, just didn't have enough time that then to get the ball to him. So Dora gets the ball twice on the plus side of the field to begin the game, and we got two, three, and outs to show for it. I also want to mention the girls down at Revival Salon in Dora, Paula Moore, Lexus, Tanya, Ashley, and Amber down there. And they'll do a great job on your hair, Tony, but we just don't qualify, buddy. Brady Spradlin back in punt formation once again. Gets a good pass from center. Gets a good spiraling kick this time going over the head of the D back and it's gonna hit and roll laterally and out of bounds down somewhere near the five yard line. Wow, what a nice punt that time. You got a lot of pro golfers would like to see a shot be able to back up like that. You ain't kidding, six yard line, man, what a punt. So Dora got Hamilton back deep. Aggies come out on their first set of downs. Had a good looking drive, eight plays, and then through the interception. So just nothing doing so far in the ball game for either offense. 5.32 to go in the first quarter. And the Aggies will be back deep. Jathan Jackson, number one. He should be under center right here, I would believe. Yeah, there goes the whistle. Turn around and hand the football off and nothing doing on first down. A gain of a couple of yards that time. Look like the running back that time may have had a, a hard time taking that snap or taking the handoff that time at the mesh point. Greg may have fumbled it just a little bit, but good job by the door defense to get right on him just after the short game. Anglin, Tony, so far four carries for seven yards for that young man. If I'm Dora, I think you have to look for Mr. Jackson right here to possibly fake one and try and throw it out here. One man wide for the Aggies. Turn around, give the handoff again to Anglin. Oh, another good play in the backfield. Ike in on the stop for the Bulldogs that time. Still, Dora doing a better job now on the on and run support now. I guess you would say fitting these runs. Would that yeah. be the, the correct term? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, they have worked on it in practice this week. That's yes. a fact. It's third down and seven now. And see if Hamilton goes to the pass here. Tony, I'd look for him to get, try to get Jackson out on the corner, give him an option. That's what I'd look for. They hand the ball off and cut down in a hurry. Good stop that time. See number two, Jamal Harris coming up. Looked like Dora, they were just in a tight formation. Dora just crowded and the lineup, just kept nothing, and just really line. came in and just Four had down. a big stop that time. So Hamilton to go three and out. Dora looking to get good field position. Here again after the punt, maybe Jamal will get back and get a good return on it. Saw the saw the one of the punts was all I think he had one from the inside of his end zone out to about the 40 yard line. So Jamal may need to yeah, he's about where he needs to be. Yeah, he's going back up right at his own 40. Good punt. He's, he's gonna get over his head if he don't get back a little bit. He's gonna it's gonna hit and he's gonna let it roll and it's gonna settle down at the door of 49 yard line. Just outside, so Dora, excellent. That check is going to be the Hamilton 49 yard line, but excellent field position once again. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to mention our good friend Christy and all the folks down at the omelet shop in Summerton. You can go by there morning, noon, or night and get something good to eat. 648 1115 is their number. Our good buddy Wayne Greathouse, Summerton Auto Care in Summerton, there behind Masco Auto Parts. For all your car care needs, 648-3003 is their number. All right, here we go. Dora with their third possession. Now I'd like to do something with it right here. Busby going to turn around and hand it off to Marcel. He's going to be fight forward and carry a tackle for an extra yard. Going to get a gain of two out of it. Still again, Hamilton just getting a little bit of penetration. I don't think that they're respecting the pass now. 
you may need to try and fake that if run some type of maybe run Matthew Busby one time just to let him take a maybe take a little bit of a lick there. Yeah, Tony, anything to stretch the defense, you would think. Second down and nine now for Dora. Busby turn around, give it off to Davidson again. He breaks the initial tackle, be inside the 45 of the 44. Going to bring up third down and about five. A good run by Marcel that time. I think it, it, as wide as he is as, than he is tall, I think he did a great job just getting back behind the Dora offensive line and was able to pop out and pick up some good yardage that time. See if the Bulldogs can't convert here on third down and five. Busby looks over to Coach Lockhart. He sends a play in. High snap. Give it off Davidson. He's going to be right up the middle with it, and he's going to be forward for three and then hits the wall. Be interesting here, Tony. Going to bring up third down and short. It's going to be fourth and about fourth and two, two or yeah. three. I thought he really got closer to the line then, where it's going to be like a fourth and less than one. But still, it, if you're Dory, you still have you got a timeout still in your pockets. You might can. And still try maybe pull them off. Yeah, try to drag them off here. You're within Brady Spradling range anyway, if nothing else. See if it goes to the hard count here. Coach Lockhart's been known to be the riverboat gambler, and it might be what call. you need to get this offense going. Yeah, he's going to take a timeout, and we'll take it with him. Be right back with you here after these messages. Want to thank our first Ken Glover Drug is your locally owned Health Mart Pharmacy. Our friendly professional staff will be glad to answer your questions and to help you with your medications. We offer a full line of medical equipment and diabetic supplies. We accept most insurance plans and for faster refills, you can visit us online. For pharmacy, medical equipment, gifts, and more, visit Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. Dora Cafe is under new ownership, so come by and taste the difference. Jeffrey and Brooke Kelly have made several menu changes that will keep you coming back for more, offering lunch and dinner specials daily. Try one of their big flavor burgers or one of their specialty hot dogs. And with a dozen different sauces to choose from, you've got to try the wings. And you can't go wrong with a Philly cheesesteak or the all new barbecue sandwich. For lunch or dinner, come in and taste the difference at Dora Cafe. And back at ladies and gentlemen, Dora now fourth down and the better part of three. Ball sitting at their own 42 yard line. Handed off to Marcel, gonna run for it. He gonna get it right to the 40, but he gonna be a little bit short, Tony, according to where he fell, unless yeah, they give him a good spot. His helmet may be enough for the first down, but I don't know if they're gonna give him a spot where the ball's at. Well, it's gonna be enough to measure. Maybe the official over here, the line judge over here, standing inside the 40. I think if he, they give it there, it's gonna be really close. Yeah, I believe he might have got a favorable spot out of that. They'll definitely have to measure. Three inches short, I believe. Inside of the 40. Timeout on the field. 125 to go in the opening quarter as the chains come in from across the way. Let me mention our good friends Aaron and Chris Edwards and Brenda at Edwards Insurance Agency, Summerton and Jasper locations. 648-2830 and Summerton 295-2030 in Jasper. Here comes chain. Tony said three inches. He gonna stretch it out hard. Oh, that's tight. Good gracious. First down, it's gotta be. Wow. <laughs> Give it to him, Mr. Official. He gonna have to get something out of me. He get a piece of paper out, stick in that thing. <laughs> Look at that. He gives it to Hamilton. Oh, me four. Four plays and give it over on downs, and that that had to be <laughs> good grace. I don't know if I've ever seen him do that in a long time. I have to get wow. something stick down there and see if it fit between the football and the end of the chain. Good grace to laugh. In any case, Hamilton has the ball back with a minute and 25 to go in the first quarter. No score here from Horace Roberts Field. Knows that the football will be right on the 40-yard line. Number one, Jathan Jackson in. Number 29 will be in beside him. That's Anglin. Jackson steps back, looking left, looking, looking. Heavy pressure coming on him. Gets out of it. Here comes Dora. Can... Ah, me. Don't hit him out of bounds, boys. 
Wow. Very close that time. That about four yards. Second down. Staten was in a good position to make the tackle at that time, just not able to get Jackson down. He's just a, a just a tough running back back there. I think the fact, Tony, that he bumped him and didn't tackle him when he went out and didn't get the flag, he was well out of bounds. Yeah, he was, <laughs> it was, but it's still, it, it's, it's one of those things, it was still where he's turning it up field, and it, it's hard on that sideline like that. The whistle really had not blown yet. I gain a three for Jackson, second seven. Turn around, hand the ball off to the up man, and he goes nowhere. It looked like he got a truckload of bubba on him. Baby, Cedric Dixon, I think, on Cedric the stop. Cedric Dixon, yeah. Big said that time. Just a big stop for the Bulldogs. Cedric feeling a little better this week. Kind of hurt his neck just a touch. Talking to the coaches, I think we'll get big uh, Cam Wade back next week for the Bulldogs, which will help shore up our depth on the offense and defensive lines. Hyde Bulldogs need to get off the field. Third down, 40 seconds to go in the quarter. Here goes quarterback keeper. He's going to get outside, and he's going to extend the drive. Gets a good run, first down yardage, and more gain of 10 for Jackson. That was just due to body left, just got behind the fullback and the running back. Then just Jackson uses athleticism to pick up that first down then. And off again, big stick by Ronnie Walter for a gain of one yard that time. And that will take us to the end of first quarter. So after one here at Horace Roberts Field, Dora zero and Hamilton zero. We'll be right back with you after these messages. Football season is here and it's time to get in the game and Piggly Wiggly has everything you need to stock up on. We have weekly specials with super low prices on USDA select meats, dairy products, the freshest produce and a whole lot more. Save big on all the top name brands or try our own store brand with national brand quality and Piggly Wiggly value. Don't drop the ball this fall, save big, shop the pig. A to Z Refinish Paint and Body in Jasper have certified technicians with over 20 years experience. They specialize in all types of collision repair, replacement, and refinishing. They can handle all collisions from minor repair to major repair and accept all types of insurance. A to Z uses DuPont Refinish technology with expert color matching. A to Z has an expert team that take great pride in their work. For a free estimate, give them a call today. A to Z Refinish Paint and Body in Jasper. And back in, ladies and gentlemen, ready to get the second quarter underway here from Horace Roberts Field. Hamilton now with the football, second down and eight. Ball sitting right inside the Dora 45-yard line, right at the 44. And you think you'd want to get a stop here. And don't let them get down the field any further. Hand Jathan Jackson going to fake the handoff, roll out, pressure coming on him. He's going to be taken down. Good job. Support coming up from Ronnie Walter. Walter that time did a great job with open field tackle. Near coming the up. Scrimmage, maybe a loss of a yard. Walter on the tackle for the Bulldogs. He's using a lot of speed from that linebacker position to come up and make Will a great stop. Yard, back to the Bulldog 45. So a loss of one on the play. Third down and nine now for the Aggies. And we'll see what they come up with here on third and long. Tony, this game may come down to battle who scores first. And off around the right side, England with it. He's going to have it to the 40 and no further. And it'll be a punting situation Johnson again for the Aggies. Johnson on the carry, check it. It's fourth down and five situation. If you're Dora across midfield here, remain. with no more fourth than we've down. done on offense, you've got to think that he may, may try and do something here to either draw us off or, or have some type of fake here. So fourth down and five, Hamilton comes out. And they are going to have the punter in there. Loving the punter. Number seven, Bryant Loving. I'm like you, Tony. I think he tried to draw us off first, though. No, they snap it just as straight as they can and kick it just as out of bounds as they can, too. I don't know if the 
I don't know how far the ball went. It didn't go very far. Door's going to have no, some. We got a penalty, 20. though. I don't know if this was. <laughs> yeah, the door player's acting like it may be against the blue team. <laughs> they may call after the kick holding. Holding, oh. okay. It could have been against. I just door want them to re kick or they want the football where it went out of bounds. That's the uh, question. There's like, if they're marking it down on the 15, if that. I'd make them re kick. Yeah, because the official is marking the ball out of bounds right at the 15 yard line. Didn't I, look it must have hit in bounds and rolled. But. If it's a 10 yard penalty, Tony, I'd back them up and make them kick it again myself now. now. I would not want the ball from the 15. I don't think you have the option to mark it off from where the ball went out of bounds. No. So they're going to back him up and make him kick it, I believe. Friends, let me mention uh, Dora Cafe here in the Dora Shopping Center. Jeff and Brooke Kelly uh, open down there some great meals for lunch, for dinner, whatever you like. Go down and see the good folks at Dora Cafe. Open till 11 o'clock after ball games. Open till 11 o'clock, 648-2922. Holding is a call against the Aggies. And Dora apparently declined. Well, in any case, Hamilton goes three and out on that possession. Are they marking it off from the end of the end of this the, the spot? Well, there's no way in the world it can be a dead ball penalty. I don't know how you have that option. But I ain't wearing a striped shirt either. So, in any case, Dora had first and 10 on the 25 yard line. Reset Boone Martin to the right side this time. Matthew standing back in shotgun. He'll give a handoff. It's the I key with it this time. He's going to run it forward. Tough running out across the 25 to the 28. Number two, it looks like he injured for the Aggies there. T you saw something on that play you don't see often. It's a big number 76. But Henderson from the from his center position is out pulling, getting out in front of that play then. Do they is that the old pulling center pulling center play? Ooh, is that what that that's is? That's the pulling center play. <laughs> oh man. I think you blocked everybody down on this side and then you just <laughs> you bring in Big Bubba around to try and clean it up. Bubba could just about block anybody by himself I, I two think, or three of them i think one of dora's linemen last week may have been uh getting uh manhandled by one of the door with the jasper defenders and i think he informed him if he hurt his leg that he was going to have a big talk with him after the after the game we'll get to see about the youngster here for hamilton hope he's okay I want to talk to you about another one of our great sponsors, old buddy Eddie Tucker down at Westwood Appliance in Forestdale. 7985231. If you need to buy an appliance, you want to buy a used appliance that's been refurbished, no better folks do deal with in the world than Eddie Tucker. Use your head, trade with Ed. And we're going to take a time out on the field for the injured player. Be right back with you. with you ladies and gentlemen glad to report number two john david mccracken for the aggies up and able to make it off the field under his own power hope that young man is fine second down now and about seven for dora busby standing back in shotgun formation takes a snap give it off to Ike again cross the 30 give him the 33 yard line Ike, don't make up third down about two like I, Ike had a had a hold that time and just not able to get through it. To say somebody got his feet tripped up then and kept him from having a long run. 
Just a little change of pace back there. A little bit quicker twitch about eye key than Marcel. Either, both of them run really hard. See if the Aggies stack the box here and try to stop the run on third down. They're expecting it. Door with two receivers to the left side, one to the right. Give it to him again. There's a big hole right there. Good hard running by Ike. He breaks a tackle all the way to midfield. Great run that time, Tony. 17 yards. To midfield. Great run by Ike that time. Still just, just a big run that time by Ike. Just nearly just still another one tackle away from breaking that for a touchdown. That will be the initial first down of the ball game for Dora. 9-11 to go before halftime. No score here from Horace Roberts Field. High snap. Give it to Ike again. He's going to run into a defender number three and just drove him back. That's Christian Loving, and he just got him an arm full of Ike, and Ike kept going. Gain of four that time for Jose. Looks like Dora may be getting a little bit of momentum going here on offense. Second down. Inside Aggie territory now at the 46 yard line. Like to keep this one going if you're Dora. Busby snaps, drops the ball, has to jump back on him. But my goodness, Tony, there goes everything you gained on first down. My goodness. Snap was a little high that time, but still it, was, and it, was, it wasn't above his head. It should have been one. Then it looked like it, Dora may have been trying to go with a passing play that time. It was like Matthew might have took his hand, eyes off the ball just a little bit then. And Tony, we're back to the old Paula Abdul offense. One step forward and two steps back. Now, as Donnie was asking here, I think we ran a, a screen against Cordova the first game for a big yardage. That was, would might not be a bad time for it. Getting it quickly to the outside to Jamal Harris, but defenders closing on him very quickly. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. It'll be punting time again for the Bulldogs. Tripped up by Jackson for the Yankees. Fourth now. So another series of three and out for Dora. Jackson Spradlin be standing back at his 35. Back deep for the Hamilton Aggies, Bryant Loving, number seven. He'll be standing around the 10. Good pass from center. Another good kick by Spradlin coming up, taking it out to 15 as Loving. He'll return it right straight up the middle out of, to the 25, 26 yard line. And it'll be first and 10 Aggies from that point. Still no score in the ball game, 6.54 to go before halftime. Ladies and gentlemen, let me mention Chris Phillips, Little Giant Farmers Market on Hull Road, the one and only original Little Giants. They're open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Also, Lee's Family Restaurant in Summerton, Doug Ragsdale. And all the good folks there, 6489217. And Chris, Philip and Chris Bowden, Piggly Wiggly and Bozeman Grocery Store, Dora Cordova, Summerton, and Hackleburg. And off right straight up the middle. Uh oh, they broke one that time. 50, 45, 40, 35, going to be pushed out of bounds finally. Definitely a touchdown saving tackle that time. They had the quick hitter. It looked like just the Sally, or just the dive play that time to the outside. And Dora just. Just really to the strong side, just really just outnumbered us. England with 40 yards on the pickup that time. Give him 49 in the ball game. Fifth first down for Hamilton. 6.36 to go in the half. And just a, just a good run that time. Just busted it quick. Quarterback's going to keep it this time. Jathan Jackson will get outside to 30 at the 25 down the sideline. Flag. Flag comes flying in. He's going to be out of bounds down near the three. But we'll negotiate the flag. Probably going to have a holding out here on the edge, Tony, I would think. Yeah, that's right there at the point of attack where they they turn the corner. Hamilton's offensive line did a great job then of just caving the whole defense down for the Bulldogs. Hamilton in the ball game, one penalty so far for 10 yards. 
Uh, the penalty was declined, holding, holding against the, the Aggies. That'll the back it up 10 yards from the spot of the foul. And instead of another big run and first down deep inside the Bulldog territory around the three, it's going to be first down and about 15. Penalty will place the ball back at about the 39 yard at line. At the 39 yard line. Yeah, that's one of those crazy penalties there. It was downfield just a little bit. Clock fixing to roll under six minutes to go in the half. Coming up here on the Ken Glover Drugs Halftime Show, the pride of Walker County, Door High School Marching Bulldog Band. Jathan Jackson with the football. No, nobody containing the edge for Dora. He's got first down yardage and more. Going to be all the way down to near the 19, 18 yard line. Going to be a gain of about 20 yards. I'm out on the field. We'll take it with them. Be right back with you after these messages. Leo and Susie's famous Green Top Barbecue has been serving up the South's best barbecue for more than 50 years. Made famous for their hickory smoked barbecue sandwiches and big tasty cheeseburgers, Green Top is sure to satisfy your hunger. Enjoy your meal while watching a game or call in for carryout. They also provide catering for any size party or occasion. For fast, friendly service and good old fashioned barbecue, Green Top is simply the best. And back in Hamilton with their sixth first down of the ball game as Jathan Jackson rumbles for 20 yards. He's got 37 in the ball game now to go along with 49 for Anglin. And Hamilton putting something together here on this drive late in the half, 5.46 to go before halftime. Ball sitting at the 18-yard line. Ball on the ground. And the Aggies fall right back on it. Anglin gets on it. Yeah, that ball went came out quick then. Luckily, Hamilton was able to get back home for them. Will lose a couple of yards and lead second down. Looks, looks like the defensive ends may be getting sucked in too low and not and just able to just getting turned in and just not been able to hold any containment now on Jackson or their other running backs. I right, see what the Aggies do here on second down and twelve, playing behind the chains. One Split man wide left. Jackson going to keep the ball this time. He's going to break the initial tackle. He runs hard. He's forward the inside Jackson near the 16-yard line, looks like. Going to have a gain, Tony, of about eight I yards. It's third down here in five or six. You'd like to be able to knock them back. Possibly make this fourth down play possibly harder here. Three yards remain. It's third down. Doris had a bend, but don't break defense most of the night. They've gave up a few plays. Let's see if they can contain the Aggies here on third down and short. Jackson going to do it again, and nobody out there to tackle him. And he's going to die for the end zone. Ball on the ground. Did he get in? Yes, he did. Jackson on the key. Touchdown. Touchdown for the Aggies, 12 yards for Jathan Jackson. And Hamilton breaks the ice here in the second quarter. So seven plays and 74 yards for the score. Number 97 to be in to kick it. That's Michael Garcia. Kick is up and no good. Look like he kicks for Alabama. It's no good. Timeout on the field. Hamilton six and Dora nothing. At Westwood Appliance, we buy, sell, and service most major brands like Whirlpool, Kenmore, Maytag, Samsung, and GE. We carry a complete line of refrigerators, washers, dryers, stoves, and freezers, and we guarantee what we sell. Use your head, train with it. And the Hamilton Aggies convert their first touchdown drive of the ball game. Seven plays as Jason Jackson, Jackson finishes off with a 12-yard run. Six-nothing Aggies, 4-19 to go before halftime. 
Garcia in now to kick it deep to Dora. And I believe the kicking team might have been all sides. I think you are correct. Yeah, everybody in white just turned around and started walking back this way very quickly. That's yep. probably what it is. Penalty against the Aggies. Offside. Ball will move back to the 35-yard line and be re-kicked. Well, that was kicked. That would be easily returned by the Dora team here. Yeah, Dora's going to have who they got back there. Jamal Harris and... That's Jamarcus Goodman. Goodman. Goodman, yeah, Jamarcus. All right, everybody ready once again. And Garcia puts a foot into it, going to drive it deep to Goodman. He's going to take it. At about the five, bring it out to the 15. And he's going to be tripped up at the 17-yard line. Good open field tackle right there. That's number 10 for Hamilton Walker. It looked like Jamal had a good block, but it looked like he blocked him. And the and Jamarcus really cut right to where he was at. Close to the 17, and the Bulldogs will begin there first down. So Bulldogs get one more shot at it here before halftime, 17-yard line. What a kick that time by, by Garcia then. After the five yard penalty, he would have basically had his pin in nearly inside the 15. High snap again. Door is going to get it down, and the wheels go out from under Marcel right at the line of scrimmage. Dora had a little bit of success last week running with this, with the two back formation with the Wildcat with Jamal back there at the quarterback position. Or just not anything much going on offense so far in the ball game. Second down, down the same 10. Don't wildcat it back to Jamal Harris. How can he get outside? He got it, Tony. He's gone. They'll never catch Jamal Harris. 83 yards, touchdown, dogs. Just really a great job that time by Jamal Harris. They overran the formation then, and he cut it back against the grain. And when he cleared that line of scrimmage, there was no one there going to catch him after that. No, Tony, Jamal Harris, if he's even, he's leaving. I guarantee you that. Yeah, he, he looked like the the, the roadrunner in the Wiley Coyote cartoons a while ago when he made that, game, that tackle to save the touchdown on the one play. Brady Spradlin in to attempt the extra point out of the hole of Matthew Busby. Boone Door Martin <laughs> on the snap. Door for the lead with this. Snap and the placement are good. The kick is up like it always is right down Main Street. Timeout on the field. Door a seven. Hamilton six. We'll be right back. If you haven't been to Lee's Family Restaurant and Dinner Theater lately, you don't know what you're missing. At least you'll find the best food around, including vegetable plates that you can't get anywhere else in our area. You can call 648-9217 and hear our menu daily with a choice of all your favorite meats and vegetables. If you would like entertainment with your meal, then look at our dinner theater schedule featuring gospel music by groups like the Perrys, the Tallies, and the Kingsmen. Great food and great music is what you'll find at Lee's Family Restaurant and Dinner Theater, Highway 78 in Dora. And back in, Jamal Harris. 83 yards to the house. Dora seven, Hamilton six. Boy, it's a good answer, Tony. Just jump right back and get a touchdown. Spradling going to short kick it again. Fair catch call for and taken. Ah, come on. Good gracious. Don't get a flag out of that. Glad he didn't hit him hard. Number four that time for Hamilton, Jaden Loving. I don't think he meant to. I mean, I, I think, think it was. <laughs> I think he just couldn't stop running. The Loving family has three children out here on this team. Wow. That's a lot of loving right That's there. That's a lot of loving. I think he's going to go there. I was hoping I could. <laughs> <laughs> Whole lot of loving going on in Hamilton. 40-yard line for the Aggies. Got 326 on the clock to negotiate, and might better find Jathan Jackson and make sure we contain him in this series. Go 
quarterback wants to keep it and he's going to run over there. Good containment on the end that time. Loss of two. Jesse Miller that time did a great job. Been playing linebacker and moved him back to the defensive line where he played the last few years and really just been very successful. I think that's this might be where his calling is on the night. Just did a great job getting pressure from that defensive end spot. Second down and 11 now for the Aggies. Hamilton on the night has only a pa attempted one pass and completed it for 27 yards down our right sideline here. Quarterback's going to keep it. Oh, good gracious. He run into a roadblock that time. Cedric Dixon on the stop. Good gracious. Had to be a loss of three more that time for Jackson. I know we wanted to bring the spray paint out for the, the Sharpies out for the Doors of Road jerseys, but I, every time I see that spot on the field that's light colored, I think it's a flag laying there. <laughs> I might have to go during the halftime and spray paint that sucker. I'm going to tell you what happened. Somebody was cutting grass, and they stopped there for a minute and got some oil. Exactly. Gas on the field. I tell we'll you blame what. Coach Justin Blevins on that. He says I never mentioned him enough on the bod broadcast. See, there it is right there. Third down and 14 now for Hamilton. Pump fake to the left, looking everywhere to pass. Pressure on the quarterback, gets it off over the middle. And behind his intended receiver out there, that was That's number 10. That's loving, oh, oh, no, excuse me, Matthew Walker. And it'll be punting time for the Aggies. Door did a good job keeping Jackson in the pocket that time. Still showed a lot of little movement in the pocket, just couldn't find an open receiver. A great job by the door defense after they give up the touchdown. And then had, we had the answer now to get the ball back, maybe get something going. Yeah, Tony got a minute and 53 on the clock and two timeouts after you get any kind of a return right here by Jamal. And the punt's going to hit and roll. They kick it away from it. It's going to roll all the way down and settle at the Dora 22-yard line. And ladies and gentlemen, let me mention, uh, if you hunt a good place to work out, let me tell you about it. our good friends over at Iron Drive Fitness there on Green Top Hill, located across the highway from the Crestview, Texaco. And Tony, I would go over and work out, but I, I don't know if I'd be able to do anything once I got there, but that'd be a good place to go. T, I spent an hour there the other day. Oh, man. Rode around the parking lot for an hour and never could find a parking place close enough, so I just went ahead and left. <laughs> what a great place to go. Iron <laughs> Drive Fitness, ladies and gentlemen, one of our great new sponsors here now on WOTM. We'd like to thank them for being in with us. 948 7272 there on Green Top Hill. Ball fumble, and Hamilton is going to get on it. And just like that, Tony, we had an opportunity to come down, add something, and we turned the ball over on the first play. It looked like really the doors running back was open, was in the clear, and it really didn't take a hit. It's just like he lost the football then. I couldn't really tell. Concentration penalty that time, 91 seconds to go, and Hamilton to have it. And door territory on the plus side at 40. All right, here comes Jathan Jackson and company back in the ball game. They'll put a man wide left. That's John Tucker, number eight. See if they elect to throw it here. Now they're going to quarterback keep it. He's going to run through initial tackle, but gets tripped up forward for about two yards by Waldrop. Number eight Pruitt that time got some penetration in the backfield and, and affected the, the path that Jackson was going to take that time. Jackson with 54 yards in the contest. Clock rolling a minute 10 to go before halftime. Fedora, you've got to keep this ball in front of you. You cannot let anything get behind you. Step back, looking, looking. Gets his pass off and right through the hands of the intended receiver. Tony, he had a good chance to catch that if he'd wanted to. Yeah, it looked like Dora that time said he got a little bit behind the, the defense then. Got number 32 back there for Dora that time, Matthew Wade. Or is it number 30? I think Towns back there. Towns. Oh, is it Towns? Okay. Yes. Okay, Towns. Third down and nine. And I'm still not settled enough on saying which one. I believe that's, is that Caven, number 30? I, I think so. 26 is Caleb, I think. Maybe I backwards. 
That's Caleb, number 30. We had it backwards. Back to pass again. Jackson, happy feet. Going to run out of it, and he's going to be forward. First down yardage going to be chopped down after a gain of about 10 yards, but it will be an Aggie first down. Good tackle by State in that time. If he pro if he doesn't bring him down or hold on to him until the help comes, that could have been a, a touchdown by Jackson. 44.2 seconds remaining. First down, Aggie. 44 seconds to go in the half. Aggies get their seventh first down of the game, 65 yards now for Jackson. And the ball off right straight up the middle. That's just eating clock. That's angling on the carry forward for probably about three. Timeout, I'm sure, by Hamilton. Yeah, he actually got about four on that carry. Tackle by Jacob Graves and a couple of other Bulldogs. Hamilton uses their first time out of the first half. Good job by Jacob Graves, number 55, on the stop for the Bulldogs. Next week, ladies and gentlemen, the Bulldogs will be on the road, go up to Moulton, Alabama. Lawrence County High School. Boy, that was a tussle last year against Lawrence Ooh, County. It was. Missed extra point, made all the difference in the world in that ball game. Yes. Then after Lawrence County, get a week off, and then come back home for two straight home games. 35 and a half seconds to go in the first half. Again, coming up here on the Ken Glover Drugs Halftime Show, the pride of Walker County, Door High School Marching Bulldog Band. Tony, you got to honor two of her former football teams here at Door before the pregame. That was great to see. Yeah, well, it's good. really interesting talking to the two classes. We had one from the 1958 and 59 class. Had a couple members of that class here. I think there's only seven or eight of those still alive in the 79 team. Jackson going to step back, roll right, looking, 79, looking, gets his pass off and through the hands of the receiver and no good. Jackson's pass is incomplete. And third down stops the clock with 30 seconds to go before half. Three yeah, my old buddy Ray down. Jenkins down there, Tony, quarterback for that 59 team. Good to see him. And one uh, here in the booth with us, uh, Mr. Donnie Early down there on the field as well. Enjoy talking to Ray Jenkins. He was talking about playing against um, Carbon Hill against Cotton Clark and how he still sees stars from the shot that he put in that <laughs> night. <laughs> uh, Cotton Clark put a a lot of stars on a lot of people back in his day. Third down and long. Past the outside. And down near the, close to the 11-yard line. Looks like that's going to be another first down for the Aggies. Good pass that time. Gain of 12. Another timeout. So Hamilton's going to have 23 seconds to try to cover the final 12 yards right here. Other region games of interest going on to, tonight as we're viewing this one is uh, Jasper over at corner tonight. Big game there. Um, see what comes out of that one. And Russellville last week. My goodness, I think Russellville. I'm trying to think who they've got tonight, but it looks like it's going to be another head bumper in week eight coming up between Russellville and Jasper. Yes. Russell put it at a pretty good uh, game last week against Corner. I know Corner took a couple players got injured. Hope speedy recovery to those kids. All right, here we go. First down and 10, 12-yard line for Jathan Jackson. Going to option the ball, pitch it at the 10, at the 5, and walks in. Anglin, 12 yards, touchdown. Anglin on the option, pitch into the end zone, touchdown, Maggie. So the Aggies take the Dora fumble and march it right down the field in seven plays and convert it. If you're Dora, you did what you had to do there. You cannot let Jackson beat you, but you make you get the ball out of his hands. But a great job by Hamilton getting that in the end zone. Just the sport did not come up behind the Dora Bulldogs defense then. And the Aggies will see if they go for two right here. Aggies will line up to go for two. Jackson rolling, looking to pass, gets his pass off, and he's got it complete for the two-point conversion. 
Aggies 14 and Dora 7. I was trying to see who caught that. Was it 7 that caught it? Uh, I think it was. So the two-point conversion is good, and Hamilton extends their lead now to 14-7 over Dora. And the Bulldogs will have 16 seconds if they want to try to come back and even this thing up here at halftime. Around the area, Old Jasper leads corner 21 to zero. Carter Hill still tied with Hill County. Cordova leads Bay County 20 to 14. And Gordo leads Oakland seven to zero. Tony been a pretty tightly contested ball game here. All the scoring coming in the second quarter. Yeah, both teams is really just the, the first part of the ball game was played nearly between the 40s. But now they're able to get Hamilton able to get a couple of plays away. Just that was aided really by the door turnover on the offense there. Garcia, number 97, to be in to tee it up for Hamilton. Look for him to squib kick it here. You wouldn't want to think he'd want to give one of the door deep backs any chance to return it. Door has <laughs> still got two timeouts, but only 16 seconds to negotiate something here before halftime. He, the way he kicked that last one after the penalty, he may be able to get one to the end zone and just maybe start us out, start it out on the 20. And here we go. Yeah, he does just that. Tony booms it deep. It'll make the end zone and it'll come out. It'll go out of the end zone. Do the 20 first and 10 for Dora. Possession at the 20-yard line. Okay, those are huge weapons when you can pin those back into the end zone like that. See if Dora does anything with it here or just takes knee and goes to the halftime locker room. For what it's worth, and Tony, I don't know why you wouldn't let Busby load up and just try one. Let's see if he comes out of quarterback if Jamal Harris comes out in the Wildcat again. Maybe Harris. Yeah, you still try to get him one-on-one -on, -one on the outside like that, but if you – yeah, I think if you're Hamilton, you're going to back everybody up just a little bit here. Just keep this play in front of you. Yeah, Dora's going to do just that. They're going to take the knee, and they're going to go to the halftime locker room. So after one half a play here from Horace Roberts Field, Hamilton leg is 14, and the Dora Bulldogs 7. We'll be right back with you here for the King Glover Drugs Halftime Show. Stay with us, everybody. Ken Glover Drug is your locally owned Health Mart Pharmacy. Our friendly professional staff will be glad to answer your questions and to help you with your medications. We offer a full line of medical equipment and diabetic supplies. We accept most insurance plans and for faster refills, you can visit us online. For pharmacy, medical equipment, gifts, and more, visit Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. This year's show is entitled A Place Called Home and features music by Skylar Gray, Alabama, my friend Keith Urban, Leonard Skinner, and of course, Little Big Town. We hope you enjoy the pride of Walker County and go Bulldogs!
This is Jennifer Weathers, Demi Post Coordinator here at Ken Glover Drug and Dora, and I want to personally invite you in for a one-of-a-kind shopping experience that's found nowhere else locally. Ken Glover Drug is your one-stop source for all your pharmacy and Demi Post needs. Items include canes, crutches, wheelchairs, and seat lift chairs. Other items may include hospital beds, patient lifts, and home respiratory items such as oxygen, CPAP, BiPAP, and nebulizers. DME might also include supplies such as insulin pumps, CGM, or continuous glucose monitoring supplies, diabetic testing supplies and shoes, as well as ostomy and catheter supplies. DME, HME, as it is often referred to, is a covered benefit with most all insurances, and Ken Glover Drug prides itself on being one of the only local providers that will file an insurance for the portable oxygen concentrator like the OxyGo pictured here. Be sure to visit us on the web or also stop in soon and see our large selection of items and accessories and chat with one of our reps on how these items can benefit you. Hi, this is Philip Walker, Family Ministries Pastor at Summerton Church of God want to invite all 6th through 12th graders out to worship with us weekly, Wednesday nights at 6.30 p.m. in our Family Life Center. You are alive in us. Nothing can take your place. Nothing can take your place. You are a queen. And welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. 
Second half ready to get underway here from Horace Roberts Field. Halftime score Hamilton 14, Dora 7. Garcia in the kickoff for the Aggies. Bag D for Dora. Number two, Jamal Harris. Number 11, Jamarcus Goodman should be back there somewhere. There he is. And see if. No, it's not Goodman back there. Let's see who that is. That's number one back there. It's Wilkerson. And see if the Bulldogs can come back down and get this thing even. And we're ready now. Directional kickoff from Hamilton going to go out of bounds, and that'll give Door the football first and 10 at the 35 yard line. Big break by Dora, just giving good field position to start off this half here. Tony seemed like the young kicker out there. Garcia just don't don't exactly know when to kick the football yet. No, he, he's he's he, a senior. He shouldn't. <laughs> he's kicking it a little. He kicks one. I mean, he kicked it out of the back of the end zone First and they missed that. I don't know if they were trying to go with a, a directional kick to try and possibly try and cover it. Well, let's see if Dora can. Get the running game on track here. Did run for 100 yards in the first half. So, <clears throat> going to hand the ball off. This is going to be number 22, Aki, coming around the right end. Aki Jose to the 37. Give him two. Really, <laughs> I think you had him by the towel. That time brought him down. That's You throw that back to the umpire and let him leave that there. But still, if, if you're – your IQ, you've got to hold onto that football then. It was really just one hand on it. Second down now for Dora. Matthew Buzz will be number 10 at quarterback. He'll look over the sideline, get his call from Coach Lockhart. Jamal Harris, number two in a slot. Goodman wide to the right. And the ball off. Good running. Breaks the tackle at the 40. At the 45, runs over a man. Good run by IQ Jose. He's going to be right at the first down sticks. And that he, will be first down for Door. The time IQ had a real good yeah, hole. Initially, he runs right, in, runs right into the back of one of the Dora blockers. But if he would have cut that one out to the to the outside just a little bit quicker, may have had even a little bit more yardage then for a, picked up more. All right, here we go. Big number 50, Cameron Wade anchoring the right side of the Dora offensive line. High snap once again. Busby's going to get on it, try to get around. Get your pass off, son. That's just good heads up play right there by Matthew Busby to keep from losing yardage. Now, I hope he had a receiver in the ah, area because I don't you don't have that same rule as you have in college and pros where if you're outside the tackle. Yeah, yeah, number eleven down there. Goodman, he was close. Wave it off down there, Mr. Official. I think he's talking to him about it. Yeah, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, reach over, pick it up. There you go. Incomplete. Good job, as we said, by Busby. There is no flag on the play. Good non-call that time by the officials. Getting together and working oh, together and doing a great job. Yards with second, down. second down in the same 10 now for Dora. One minute going in the third quarter. Good pass from center this time. I key with it. Runs into and over a Hamilton defender forward for 10 more yards. He looked like a bull that time, just lowered that head and just got what he could get and just ran over two or three players from Hamilton, able to pick up a first down. So too or close good. to it, excuse yeah, me. It, yeah, it, well, they call it third down and a half yard here. Uh, I just I always makes me wonder why you don't have your quarterback under center sneaking the ball across that half yard line right there. Give it to Ike, going to stick his nose in there. He's not going to get it. They got driven back. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. That's for Tony. Why in the world are you not under center right there? Wow, that's that's just that's one of the disadvantages of the shotgun offense like that. Seen it here years ago when I was playing. Dora played Walker at the time, and just really they went down the field in the power eye and just shift down on the 10, and they snap it over the center of the quarterback's head, cost them the ball game. 
Here we go, fourth down now. Instead of having to gain a half a yard, now you have to gain six here to pick up the first down. Here's a snap, handoff. He's not going to get there. My goodness gracious. Thrown for a loss of one yard. So five play drive right there, he ends on downs. And Hamilton will take the football over at their own 46-yard line. And, Tony, I'm not going to question Coach Bart Lockhart. He gets paid to coach football, and yes. I don't. But I, I just it just looks like you could dive forward for the quarterback for a half yard. Hamilton with it, first and ten. Ball at the 46-yard line, Jathan Jackson. He'll trigger it once again for the Aggies. He got 65 yards on the ground, 40 through there in the first half. Give it to the up back angle and at the 50. He's got a hole, 45. Cuts outside at the 40 and breaks another tackle at the 35. Steps out of bounds down near the 33. Again, it's the same play that they've had big yard zone, really just running to the strong side and really just getting hat on hat, just getting uh, just a little crease, just for Anglin to stick through. Ninth first down of the ball game for Hamilton. Anglin now with 83 yards in the contest. Johnson resets in the backfield. Turn and give the ball off to him, running to the left at the 35. He's at the 30 at the 25. Had to be a gain of about nine yards, maybe 10. Nor again, just giving up the edge, then giving up nine big yards on first down. Gain of about nine, the yard remains at second down. Second down and yard for Hamilton. Nine minutes to go in the third quarter. The way Doors offense is played tonight, you really don't need to go down two touchdowns here in this ball game. Let's see what the Aggies come up with here on second down and one. Look for Jathan Jackson maybe to keep it right here. He's up under center. He'll turn around, give it off to the up back angling. He's got first down yardage. Steps out of a tackle for a gain of about three. Walter did a good job getting off of a block and coming up and making that stop, but too bad is it's still enough for them. They got the first down then. So Hamilton now with 10 first downs in the ball game. Clock moves. And I guarantee the Aggies not going to get in any hurry. No. About using up all this play clock. It's down to 10 now. And they'll use a few more seconds before they snap it. And we got a false start against the Hamilton Aggies. He's pointing one of the door guys, but that has to be against false Hamilton. Start the call against the Aggies. Fourth penalty of the contest for 30 yards against Hamilton. Penalty moves the ball back to the Bulldog 25. First down, 15. They heard us with an option play while I go. First down and 15 now for Hamilton. Ball at the 25 of Dora. Jathan Jackson with the football. He'll run right, get the penalty yardage back, plus one. Jackson on the keeper. Just student body right again that time for Hamilton to pick up the penalty yardage back like you said. Yeah, plus about three more. So a gain of actually a gain of eight that time by Jathan Jackson. He's got 73 yards in the contest. Hampton just taking their time, taking their time. Eight seconds to go when they break the huddle on the play clock. Dropping back, give the handoff, coming around the left end. This time looks like number 30 on the carry that time. I don't have a 30, so I'm sure I got that number right. 22, I think. 32 on the carry, okay. Yeah, 32 on the carry, Gardner. Looks like I'm going to get a heat time out here. No injury, excuse me. Got an injured player down on the field here. Tony, tell these folks where they can get some green top barbecue. 
Dora, Alabama, Highway 78, just outside on the county line, 205-648-9838, or the Jasper location, 205-221-2244. And I also want to mention our good buddy Ken Glover, Ken Glover Drugs here in Dora. Once again, for all your prescription needs, 64899. One eight as the door players attended to. A to Z body shop out of Jasper, Troy Nash, and all the good folks. For all your dent dings, if you need a good paint job on your vehicle, Troy's the man to call, 221-2095. Summerton Church of God, Pastor Victor Massey, got to see him last night. Him and Pastor Jamie's youth pastor, Philip Walker, 648-3257. And again, I want to mention all the girls down at the Revival Salon, Paula and Alexis, Tanya, Ashley, and Amber. Go by and see them. Get you a great-looking hairdo down there. And, man, I'll tell you what, Tony, it amazes me how much women spend getting hair fixed. Wow, I, it's, I know. It's, it's just, out of this world. It's just money, you know, it's just I, I just can't imagine it. You and I have to pay them a finder's fee. These women pay them up to $150, $200 sometimes. I heard a Brazilian blowout Brazilian or something blowout. like that. That was yeah. the one. I don't even know what that is, but it costs money. <laughs> it must be good. All right, here we go, Aggies now. Pitch out this time. That's England with the football. Gets cut down. Legs cut out from under. Going to bring up fourth down now in about seven. Good job on the door defense that time. Yeah, did a better job covering that. It looked like the, the door. They, the first defender took pitch or took the quarterback, made him pitch, and played off. But still a lot better job in support by Jamal Harris coming up. up. And as Donnie was saying, it looked like the pitch may have been just a little bit behind the the guy just made him slow down just enough to help the Dora defense come in the pursuit. Johnson coming in here for Hamilton. Let's see if they try to draw Dora off, shorten it up to about a fourth and one or two, and then go for it. On a drop back, heavy pressure on the quarterback. He stiff arms a man, gets his pass off, and it's going to fall incomplete. It'll go over to Dora. Good pressure. By number eight for Dora that time. And that's going to be Elijah Pruitt. 56. Also, Jesse Miller in on the, the initial pressure also All from the, the backside. Placed on the 12-yard line, 17-yard line. So First four down. plays for Hamilton. They turn it over on down. So Dora with a break now can maybe get back down here and even the score. Ball's going to be sitting at the oh, – we've got timeout on the field. <laughs> Shop in Summerton offers diners the most delicious breakfast, lunch, and dinners. Serving up your favorite breakfast meals from our famous omelets to our delicious pancakes. We offer daily lunch specials with half price meals Monday through Wednesday. Whether you're dining in or carrying out, Christy Hollis and her friendly staff will make sure to satisfy your hunger. The Omelet Shop is located across from Walmart in Summerton and open seven days a week to serve you. Come eat at the Omelet Shop! Come by and see Paula Birmingham at Revival Salon located on Highway 78 in Dora. They have five highly trained professionals on staff, specializing in all the latest haircutting techniques and styles. They do coloring, extensions, and color correcting. Revival Salon also specializes in hair and makeup for pageants, weddings, and proms. If you're in need of a new look, visit Revival Salon located on Highway 78 in Dora. And back in, ladies and gentlemen, door with it. First down in 10, ball at the 17-yard line of Hamilton. High snap, taken down, give off, running hard up the middle. Marcel Davidson, he'll put his head down, drive forward for about eight yards. Marcel Davidson on the Still a good run on first down, but Marcel yards. just finding his hole. He has a little bit better patience, it looks like, sometimes and finds the, the, the hole a little bit better. Give him nine, Tony, on first down. 
5.30 to go in the third quarter here from Horace Roberts Field. Davidson again, ball oh. on the ground, and Hamilton is on it. Oh, my goodness. High snap, Tony just threw the timing off. Yeah, Marcel looks like he may be banged up a little bit on the play as he's trying to take the, the handoff. He really took, like, put, took a pretty good shot that time. And he's up making his well feel. Yeah, he got stuck pretty good, Tony. Right there, Hamilton will have the football on the plus side of the field now at the 26-yard line. Defense is going to have to come up with another big stop here. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to mention another one of our great sponsors, and that's Christy. Down at the omelet shop in Summerton, 648-1115 is her number. Go down and get you some great breakfast, great lunch, dinner, whatever you have a taste for. Jathan Jackson back in. Hands the ball off to Johnson. He's across the right side, breaking tackles. He's got first down yardage. And just basically walked in the end zone for the Hamilton touchdown. Yeah, just really just caved down the, the side of that defense for the Bulldogs and just really just walked into the end zone. So 22 yards, Hamilton one play, touchdown, and Tony, you mentioned it in the break. Hamilton extends this thing to two scores now. It might not bode well for Dora unless their offense can get unhinged somehow. Extra point attempt coming up. Zach Hedrick for Dora. He's up my field. He's all right. Garcia in to attempt the extra point. Snapping the placement. Good. Kick is up, and it is good. Timeout on the field. Hamilton 21, Dora 7. We'll be right back. If your car or truck is in need of repair, then you need to come by Summiton Auto Care. Owner Wayne Greathouse and all of his technicians are ASE certified, so you know your repair will be done right. What sets them apart from other shops? They are a TechNet member, offering a 24-month, 24,000-mile roadside assistance on major repairs. They install engines, transmissions, they do heating and air work, or any other work your automobile may need at the best price. So go by and see them today at Summiton Auto Care or give them a call at 648-3003. The Edwards Agency has been in business for over 40 years, serving our customers in Jefferson and Walker County. At the Edwards Agency, we put personal touch in personal insurance. We have a dedicated staff of licensed agents that will help you in finding the best coverage available at a competitive rate. Allow our agents to help navigate you through all the coverage limitations and exclusions so you can make an informed decision on the best coverage and best protection for your insurance needs. The Edwards Agency, with two locations to serve you in Summerton and in Jasper. And back in, ladies and gentlemen, Hamilton ready to kick off again to door number 97. That would be Michael Garcia to do the honors for Hamilton. He'll punch it up high. Won't be very deep. It's going to hit. Going to come down to Jamal Harris. Going to return it to the right side at the 15. And feet goes out from under him at about the 18. First down, Bulldog. Kick that time by Garcia just really high and was able to hit and just took a just a high bounce. Probably was 12, 15 foot in the air and just really gave time for the coverage from Hamilton to get down and just give Jamal nowhere to go. So see if Dort can come up with something here on their third possession now of the third quarter. On the night, the Bulldogs in the first half, Bulldogs ran for 100 yards, passed it for six, had a little more production out of the running game to start the second half, but then you get a Big old turnover just knocks you right in the head. And the ball off again. Running hard. That's a face mask. Should be added to the end of this Davidson run. He gets it to the 25. Door going back to the heavy formation with a with an extra lineman in and a tight end and no wide receivers with two backs in the backfield. Still another a good run by Dora. No, they're calling a hold on the Bulldogs. Holding is the call against Dora. 
Oh, goodness gracious. Well, they missed the face mask penalty. I'm sorry, but they did. Holding against Dora. That'll back the Bulldogs up. Ten yards, third penalty in the ballgame for 20 against Dora. High snap again, taken down, giving Ike Jose run right into the arms of defender. Still just good fundamental defense that time by Hamilton, just to, in the spot that time, just, just stepped up into the hole. Looks like Ike may be injured now for the Bulldogs. Ballard on the tackle. Ballard on the tackle that time for Hamilton, and Ike still down on the ground for Dora. He has shoulder surgery back during the offseason, hopes not his shoulder again. Or it may be a cramp, hopefully. Ladies and gentlemen, let me mention also Summerton Auto Care, Wayne Greathouse, and the fine folks there on Highway 78, right in behind Masco Auto Parts, 648-3003. Also, the Edward Insurance Agency in Summerton and Dora, Aaron and Chris Edwards and Brenda, 648-2830 in Summerton, 295-203. Zero in Jasper. I also want to mention Jeff and Brooke Kelly at the Door Cafe and the Door Shopping Center, 648-2922. Open till 11 o'clock on game nights for your eating pleasure. And we'll bring you some more sponsors here as the game extends into the fourth quarter. 423 to go in the third. Hamilton 21. Dora 7. Bulldog football second down and 13. Football situated at the 16-yard line. Busby back, looking, loads up. Looking down the right side, looking for Goodman. Overthrows him at midfield. Still had time that time, just not able to find the receiver. Just slightly overthrew him on that. Tony, look, thinking back on the Cordova game, if you run a deep post route, maybe Busby does better if, if – the receiver is coming back in toward the middle. Seems yes. like he gets a better angle on the football. Mm -hmm. Third down and long now for Bulldogs. Need to really do something with it here if there's any way you can come up with third and 13. Busby takes a snap, rolls back, same pass again. And mm -hmm. just an inch too tall for Goodman. Had a good pass, just got it just a little bit too tall. Yeah, that was like you were talking about. He's really coming just a slant, a deep slant that time or or – post pattern and just coming in had him there just slightly overthrew him Goodman going up and just could not able to bring that down fourth down now four door Brady Spradlin he'll be standing all the way back on his five yard line almost on his goal line he's standing inside the five on about the two so you're going to have to have a solid snap right here he gets that Gets a good driving punt. Off is going to hit and take a door roll. Take it in at the 38. And going to be forward across midfield into door territory at the 47. And we've got a door player number 57. Down like he might have tweaked an ankle right there. So Hamilton will be back in business. On the plus side of the field, they're going to set it down at the Bulldog 49. With 3.49 to go in the third quarter. Bulls going to come up with a big stop here. This is, they cannot go down any more points. Jathan Jackson back at it for Hamilton once again. Just inside midfield. Turn around and give the ball off in the backfield. Door defense come up, still forward for a gain of about five yards. That's number 32 on the carry. That's Gardner. Walter Brigand been probably the most consistent player on this Bulldog defense all year. Just really played well from the, his defensive end position earlier in the year. Been moved back to the linebacker tonight. And I believe Hamilton's going to spend their first time out. Let's see. Got a player here apparently with an equipment problem. 
And we'll take it with them. Be right back with you. Are they ready now? I don't know what it was. He blew it now. Uh, Hamilton ready now. Second down and seven. Nose of the football at the 46-yard line of Dora. Jathan Jackson with it. Going to run it forward and going to fight for a gain of about three. Bring up third down and about three more. Hamilton, Hamilton players haven't met him off. That may be Jackson there. He's going to have to come out for a play on this big third down play. So where are they going to spot it down? Yeah, he didn't get as much as we thought he did. It's still going to bring up third down and a long four right here. Yeah, it's a big play here. But you got to think that if Hamilton may, if they get a yard or two and it's still a fourth down and one or two, they may go for this with Jackson back in the game. Game clock at 2.50 to go in the third quarter. Just now blow the play clock in, so they'll walk this down a good ways before they snap it. I think you go from, from Jackson in the quarterback to Bryant Loving. Loving will hand it off and a good tackle from behind that time by Dora, number 56, Jesse, Jesse Miller. Miller. It's going to be a fourth down and about a yard or two. Yeah, Tony, you talked about it just a minute ago. They're subject to go for it right here, fourth and two. It's like they're sending Loving into punt. Garcia running onto the field. Maybe they're going to try a field goal. Line of scrimmage is a 41-yard line. This would be a 58-yarder. 58 58-yarder. 58 now, he ain't going to punt it. I didn't think. I thought that was a little crazy. Going to punt. So, Loving, is and he's going to punt. Drops the nose of the football down. Going to kick it, and it's going to roll laterally and be touched dead about the 18-yard line. Ball so do I have it there, first, first down and 10. With a minute 42 to go in the third quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to remember our good buddy again, Eddie Tucker down at Westwood Appliance in Forestdale, 7985231. Use your head, trade with Ed. Tony, just think if you're Doro, we got to do something with football yeah, you, pretty it, soon. It was, whether it's just some type of pass, like you said, just maybe across the middle or just something. It, it may need to free Busby up and just let him run one just to try and change something up. See what they elect to do. Get the ball off to Ike, trying to get him outside. He's going to be forward across the 25 to the 26. One of the first times Doro's been able to get to the outside of the Hamilton defense like that. That's just, really ran a lot of plays up the middle, but still just a good play that time to pick up some big yardage on first. D. Wilkinson splits out wide to the left this time for Dora. Have Jamal Harris in the slot left. Play clock at eight, at five. Give it off to Ike, and he runs it forward right into the arms of a defender and no gain. Loses yardage. The ball may have come out. May have played him dead before. No gain on the play. No gain on the play that time for Jose. I think if you're Dora, you may need to go with Jamal. He looks like he's been holding his quad a little bit, had cramps, and may, may need to go with a, with a Wildcat here. One more play to go here in the first quarter. 23 seconds in the third quarter. Excuse me, not the first quarter. I'm going backwards. Dora going to have to use a timeout because they've almost burnt the play clock down in three seconds. Dora. They'll use it right here. Well, Tony, I'm going to tell you what. If you're Dora, I think you're right. I think you've got to get Jamal Harris in there and – we got to start running the football. Yeah, I think you, you've got to do something. They're, they've got too many people accounting for um, for for our running back scene. If you could possibly get him to the outside away from something, it may be have some room to run. 
got to get something going if your door fixing to be down with one quarter left in this contest. You're down two scores, so man, you want to get on the board here pretty quick. Ladies and gentlemen, remember Chris Phillips, Little Giant, Farmers Market on Hull Road, open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m., 6 p.m., produce, vegetables. He got the hay bales out front. You know it's getting fall of the year. Start selling that hay. My wife's already wanting to make an arrangement in the front yard with hay. So he's got it. I guarantee you that. Here we go. Dora, third down and three. Ball at the 25-yard line. Need to convert right here if you're the Bulldogs. Busby takes it, gets his pass off. Gets it off to Boone Martin. Look at him run over two Hamilton defenders forward all the way to the Dora 39-yard line. As the crowds go wild, are you hearing the crowd, the cheer of Boone? Johnson that's not booing him. That's for Boone Martin with a great catch that time. We have decoded him long enough this year. Finally unleashed him. Unleashed the beast. And that will take us to the end of the third quarter. After three, Hamilton 21 and Dora 7. We'll be right back with you. Ken Glover Drug is your locally owned Health Mart Pharmacy. Our friendly professional staff will be glad to answer your questions and to help you with your medications. We offer a full line of medical equipment and diabetic supplies. We accept most insurance plans and for faster refills, you can visit us online. For pharmacy, medical equipment, gifts, and more, visit Ken Glover Drug Health Mart Pharmacy. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. Football season is here, and it's time to get in the game, and Piggly Wiggly has everything you need to stock up on. We have weekly specials with super low prices on USDA select meats, dairy products, the freshest produce, and a whole lot more. Save big on all the top name brands, or try our own store brand with national brand quality and Piggly Wiggly value. Don't drop the ball this fall. Save big. Shop the pig. A to Z Refinish Paint and Body and Jasper have certified technicians with over 20 years experience. They specialize in all types of collision repair, replacement, and refinishing. They can handle all collisions from minor repair to major repair and accept all types of insurance. A to Z uses DuPont Refinish technology with expert color matching. A to Z has an expert team that take great pride in their work. For a free estimate, give them a call today. A to Z Refinish Paint and Body in Jasper. And back in to begin the fourth quarter of play here from Horace Roberts Field. Dora with a first down. Ball at the 40-yard line on their end. Pump fake, loading up, getting the pass down the left sideline, looking for Wilkerson down there and overthrows him once again. That's the play where we that I thought that we would probably try and run tonight was you faking it to the this the slip screen like that and just you taking your shot down the field but well coached by hamilton to be on top of that so door goes incomplete on first down second down and 10 now for the bulldogs And let's see, we got a flag. Somebody probably did not get set that time for Dora. I believe we'll have an illegal shift. False Don't start. call it a false start. Fourth penalty in the game, 25 yards against the Bulldogs. <laughs> So then once again, puts the Bulldogs behind the chains, second down and 15. Now the football, instead of being up at the 40, is back at about the 34. Moved again. Moved again. My goodness gracious. Moving the spots and really there should not be movement out there. So see what Dora can come up with now on second down and 20. Matthew Busby back, heavy pressure coming on him. 
trying to get out of it. He does got to elude a man, gets his pass off, and headed it toward Wilkerson, but well overthrows him. Good job by Busby getting out of that initial pressure like that, coming out of the pocket back to his left. Still just able to flip the ball down the field, but just not able to find anybody open. So third down and double yardage for Dora. Got to take it all the way just shy of the midfield stripe for a first down, third and 20. As Cathead said, we're going for it. Busby back, looking to the left again, gets his pass off, got Goodman there this time, and he, oh, my goodness. Oh, just out of his outstretched hands at the 40, incomplete. Good job by Goodman getting clear of the defensive backs that time, just not able to bring in that long pass in. And Dora again will punt the football. So in the second half so far for Dora, they're giving it up on downs after it couldn't gain a half yard on fourth down, and then they fumbled it, and now they punted twice. So just nothing doing on offense. 11.33 to go in the contest. Brady Spradlin in to punt again for the Bulldogs. Gets a wobbly kickoff. It's going to hit and roll inside the 30, be picked up at the 25. Returned up the middle of the field at the 35, at the 40, and all the way to the 45-yard line for Hamilton. Looked like Hamilton may have gotten away with the block in the back on the first guy down. It was right on the side. I'm not sure if he saw his number on that one. And we've got a flag on the play back here at the 30-yard line, so we're probably going to have that a That might block. be it because it looked like he got him. Yeah. One. And if it is, that'll push the ball back to right at the 20. That'll be 10 yards against the Aggies. But now what happens here, Tony, is your ball control offense is back on the field with the football and just eat the play clock to pieces. Yeah, if you're Dora, you definitely need a three and out here just to get the ball back and away from them. Because when they can take 35, 40 seconds off this clock every play, it makes it a, it, it can shorten the game in a hurry. Yes, it can. All right, here we go, Jathan Jackson back in. And he'll turn around, hand the ball off. And not much on first down. Marcel Davidson in on the stop for the Bulldogs. Angling with the carry, he'll lose a yard. No gain on the play, second down. Clock running, 10.45 to go in the ball game. Door down two scores. Got to get off the field on defense. Second down 11 for the Aggies. Jathan Jackson resets a man in the backfield. That's number 12, Durkin. Running the ball at the heart of the door defense. Going to bring up third down and long. Pretty at that time for the Bulldogs. Coming in and played that well from the, coming down the line and making, making the stop again. Gardner third gets down. two that time. Third and nine. Got to get off the field here. The chances that one carries this football are very high. <laughs> yeah, I would have to agree with you, Tony, on that. He's got 76 yards on the ground tonight so far. I'm going to split three receivers to the left side. Quick hitter to the outside and overthrows his receiver. Close to being a backward pass right there, but to bring up a punting situation for the Aggies. Still a huge break for the Bulldogs to get them to turn it over on downs. And plus, when they throw that pass there, that kills the clock then. Now, 
Number two, Jamal Harris dropped back and standing at the door, a 45-yard line. Be nice to get a good return right here out of this punt. Loving back number seven. He'll put a foot into it. He'll drive it on an angle, and it'll go out of bounds. Going to go out of bounds up near the door, a 42-yard line, somewhere very close to that. And the official almost tripped over somebody on the sideline and, and muttered one of the water one of the water boys for Dora and they're gonna call a penalty on it. Gonna be a sideline interference. On the loving punch, ball be placed about midfield. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow. Now, you know, my goodness, now you know that kid. Made just get out of the way. The just gave him a warning on it. That'd be nice if he would. The ball actually went out of bounds at the 42 yard line. The ball bounced out of bounds at the 42, but they're going to put it at 37. All right, Dory, you got to do something with it right here. This game getting long in the tooth, nine and a half minutes to go. And the officials, they're having a conclave down at the 35. The ball went out of bounds on the punt at the 42. It's right here in front of our broadcast window. Unless they assess the five-yard penalty, which obviously they must have. Now they're marking it off 15 yards. My goodness gracious. Sixth penalty of the ball game against Dora, 45 yards worth. So if your Dora 78 yards in front of you, Nine and a half minutes to go in the contest. You've got to do something with the football right here. And forward for a gain of about two yards that time. Marcel Davidson. Still, Marcel, just not much running room against the heart of this Hamilton defense. No, Tony, you got to believe two and three yards is not going to do it. The way you suck this clock down with the running game, you're going to have to get the ball down the field in chunks here somewhere. Swing pass outside, in and out of the hands of Jamal Harris, incomplete. Dora may have gotten away with the one there. That was very close to being lateral backwards that time on the RPO. Dora's one out of their last eight passing. Third down now, third and eight. Tony, I don't know if you don't get it here. I don't know what you do. I guess you still got a punt at eight, 53 to go in the contest. So the time it's getting close where you're going to have to make a tough decision if you're Coach Lockhart. Busby back, loads up, gets his pass off. And just pass incomplete. threw it kind of in between Goodman and Harris out there, and it will be fourth down for Durham. So once again, Dora three and out. Brady Spradlin to step in, stand back near his 10 yard line. Brady Spradlin back to punt now for Dora. Loving back to receive. Three seconds on the play clock. We got to snap it. One, they do get it off. High driving kick by Brady's going to hit and roll inside the 
Hamilton 20. Be fielded at about the 15. Blocking the back again. Blocking the back. Loving with it. He's going to negotiate it out to the 30 yard line, but let's see if this comes back. Ladies and gentlemen, let me mention again Chris Phillips down at Little Giant Farm Market on the Hull Road. Also, Lee's Family Restaurant in Summerton. Doug Ragsdale and the fine folks there, 6489217. Piggly Wiggly and Bozeman's Groceries, Dora Cordova, Summerton, and Hackleburg. And I also want to mention our newest sponsor, that is Iron Drive Fitness. They're on Green Top Hill, crossing Crestview, Texaco, 948-7272. Go by and let all of our sponsors know you appreciate them bringing you Dora High School Bulldog football here on WOTM television. That's going to put the ball back to about the nine yard line for Hamilton, first and ten. Penalty on the play. We're blocking the back against the Aggies, moving the ball inside the ten yard line, first down. Another big series for this Dora defense. They've been, they've played what better the second half except for the one, one play drive. All right, Hamilton with it, Jathan Jackson. He'll come in, he'll take all of his time he can get after he snaps it here. He'll milk as much of the play clock as possible. Hand off to the up man, that's Anglin. He's still up, right? Might need to put him down. He's across the 10 to about the 12. Anglin would not be denied then. He just kept staying up and staying up where he thought it was really was his forward progress had been stopped. England with 87 yards in the ball game, complimenting Jackson with 76, and Johnson with 51. Loving runs into the huddle for just a second, then runs way back out to the left side, very wide. Quarterback keeper by Jathan Jackson this time turns it upfield. He's got first down yardage and more. He's still running at the 30. He's up to the 33-yard line. Dora didn't look like they got set on defense that time. It was running one of the, the defensive backs across the formation then and really just ran himself out of the play. Hamilton with their 11th first down of the ball game. Extends the drive with 7.35 to go in the contest. On the right side this time with the breaking the tackle at the 40 at the 45 cutbacks to midfield at the 50 and still going all the way to the 46 yard line that's Gardner. The Hamilton back that time really just had a lane to run through and Dora just really tried to bring him down with arm tackle and never really put a hat on him then and just just a good run by the Hamilton Aggies. Bondarius Gardner, 20 yards on a hard run that time. And, yeah, Tony, like you said, they just just couldn't bring it down. Give that kid in the, all the credit in the world. He kept digging. But Hamilton right now, Tony in danger of putting this in the way for keeps. They snap it right at zero on the play clock and give it to Give it around the left side to Anglin. He'll be forward for about seven yards. Number three, McDavid on the stop for the Bulldogs. Stills after a game of about seven or eight on the play. And Hamilton right at having two ball carriers to go over the century mark in this one. Remember again, ladies and gentlemen, next week, Door Bulldogs on the road travel up to Lawrence County High School up in Moulton, Alabama. Jason Jackson looking at the play clock. He'll run it down to five and snap it, give it off again, coming around this side. That's going to be Gardner with it. He'll get about a yard. Put it again on the stop. Looked like Hamilton may have pulled their lineman back to the left, but really just trying to run it to the right. And Dora's going to take a timeout. We'll take it with them and be right back with you just in a moment. <laughs>
Back in, ladies and gentlemen, third down and a long four for Hamilton. 5.53 to go in the contest. Nose of the football at the door, Bulldog 40 yard line. Jathan Jackson in to trigger it for the Aggies here on third down. Decides to keep the ball himself. He'll fight forward and he'll lose a half yard, bring up fourth down. Better job by Dora that time, just stopping the run. Looked like he showed pass for just a second, but Dora still Play come in playing the run. Now. There, you got to wonder if they play here, field position, or go ahead and just try and go for this. Yeah, Tony, if, I, if I'm Hamilton, I mean, why don't you just punt the football here and play field position? Dora's only got one explosive play on the night, the long run by Jamal Harris. And, yeah, let's see what they decide to do. Play clock running at five. They'll spend burning time out here and talk it over. And Hamilton calls a timeout, so they'll think about it. But, Tony, I don't know why in the world you wouldn't just short punt the ball right here and then play defense and make door drive two long fields if you can. Yeah, I think I think he said we had about 160 yards of offense, which half of those come in one play. Really just door has not been able to get anything going here tonight. So let's see if the Bulldogs can get the ball back. And hey, I tell you what, wouldn't wouldn't turn down another one of them big explosive plays right here. No. Just, just give yourself a chance here late in the ball game. But you're gonna have to get it in a hurry. You ain't got you got just under five minutes to go in this one. Jaden McDavid, Ronnie Waldrop and company back on the field here for Dora. Let's see what the Aggies do. Look like they're going to go for it here on fourth down unless they try to draw Dora off. That'd be the first thing I would do if I was in the white. See if they hard count it. Oh, they drop back to pass. Pressure on the quarterback. Gets his pass off. Got a receiver loving down there. Overshoots him. And the ball will go over to the door on downs. First down, Bulldogs. The defense did what they had to do. They gave up a couple first downs and plays, but they've got the ball back to the offense now. So this may be definitely four down territory for the Bulldogs. And if you score, you may have to go ahead and try that onside kick again. Well, Tony, the reason why I'm thinking there is you want to punt because now you give the ball to Dora at the 41-yard yep. line. There's a couple things in this ball game just from a making sense point of view I just don't understand. No, I think that with the way Dora has looked on offense with Hamilton, the two passes that they've thrown on the third and the fourth down plays, it's just really just been a huge benefit for the Bulldogs. Marcel Davidson in the backfield standing alongside quarterback Matthew Busby. He'll drop back inside his 35, gets his pass off, and he throws it short. Got Wilkerson on the knee with a gain of nine yards at the 48. Nice throw and catch by, by Busby that time. Maybe this will get him going here. Got to get the ball down the field here in chunks. Goodman wide left. Wilkerson wide right. Three receivers in the ball game now for Dora. Four receivers. Get the ball quickly outside to D. Wilkerson. He's got a hold. He'll exploit it to the 40, to the 35. Another good pickup, 13 yards. Yeah, Dora, a little sign of life here. Just a couple good plays in a row by the pass. Maybe to get Busby and this offense going here. Got to be judicious if you're Dora here. Clock moving for stopped actually the 416 it'll come back in on the whistle there it goes got to move the ball downfield take the handoff pass this time over the head of d wilkerson too high for him still that was a better looking pass by busby that time i say our bob boy's back out on the field tonight he's recovered from his injuries absolutely Still can't believe we called a penalty on that kid. Wow. Busby back again with it to the left. Gets his pass over. Oh, leaping reception. Is that Goodman? Wilkerson on the reception. Wilkerson's really come up big on this and got a player injured for Dora. 
Pass is going to be complete down. Let's see where they put it at. The line of scrimmage was a 35. They're coming. Did they call it incomplete? They got to call. We got a bad injury here. Don't know who the player is. We'll try to find out for you. Time out on the field. We'll be right back. Leo and Susie's famous Green Top Barbecue has been serving up the South's best barbecue for more than 50 years. Made famous for their hickory smoked barbecue sandwiches and big tasty cheeseburgers, Green Top is sure to satisfy your hunger. Enjoy your meal while watching a game or call in for carryout. They also provide catering for any size party or occasion. For fast, friendly service and good old fashioned barbecue, Green Top is simply the best. And back in, ladies and gentlemen, injury timeout on the field. Injured player appears to be Jacob Graves for Dora High School. So everyone say a prayer for that young man. Don't want to speculate on what it might or might not be. He's being attended to by the medical folks now. Dora with the 15-yard completion on the last play, first and 10 at the Hamilton 20-yard line. Exactly four minutes to go in this one here from Horace Roberts Field. And if you're Dora, you got to stick one in the end zone pretty quickly right here. Matthew Busby will be standing back on his 25 for the snap. Might be a good time for a run. Going to swing it outside and dropped by the receiver trying to come in with a tunnel screen that time. It's like Hamilton may have been more in a prevent defense that time. Had Didn't have the four or five men on the line of scrimmage. May have had the numbers in for a run. Stops the clock. Second down and 10 now for the Bulldogs. Rolling Busby out to the right. Rolling, rolling, looking. Gets his pass off in the end zone and well over the head of the Bloody intended pass, receiver. Ran the wheel route that Three time down, on the sprint. Looked like a lot of contact there from the defensive back and just couldn't get D. Wilkerson, just couldn't get free of the traffic to get back for the, to find the football. But Tony, have we run anything tonight whatsoever to run a counter against the defense at all? Start one way and come back against them. We, we've, we've got just a few where we take the step and go, but we haven't, we haven't had much going against the back of the defense. At all. 346 to go in this one. Third down and 10 for the Bulldogs. Got to have something here if you're Dora. Back looking over the middle with the pass. Interference. Yeah, that's good. That's got to be a flag right there. Another well thrown ball by Busby that time. And Tony, if the line of scrimmage is 20, half the distance to be 10. It'll be right down to the, right down close to the 10 yard line after the penalty. That should be close to enough yardage for the first down, though, still. Pass interference against Pass Hamilton. Yeah, going to bring up, it's got to be first down. It was third and 10. That's got to move the sticks, you would think. Yes, it's going to be first and goal from the 10. Ball will be placed at the 10-yard line. First down, Bulldogs. Seven first down of the night for Dora. 341 to go. Got to get it in quickly here. They're in the nickel defense still. And it off to Jamal Harris coming around the right side. He should be able to run this one in, and he does. Touchdown, Here's Bulldogs. So Jamal Harris goes in with his second touchdown tonight, 83 yards on the first one there, 10. 3.34 to go in the contest. It ain't over yet. No, you you got to think that this will be a, 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 an onside kick coming here. Brady Spradlin begin to attempt the extra point. Snapping the placement's good. The kick is up. The kick is good as usual. Timeout on the field. Hamilton 21, door 14. We'll be right back with you. At Westwood Appliance, we buy, sell, and service most major brands like Whirlpool, Kenmore, Maytag, Samsung, and GE. We carry a complete line of refrigerators, washers, dryers, stoves, and freezers, and we guarantee what we sell. with it. 
Dora Cafe is under new ownership, so come by and taste the difference. Jeffrey and Brooke Kelly have made several menu changes that will keep you coming back for more, offering lunch and dinner specials daily. Try one of their big flavor burgers or one of their specialty hot dogs. And with a dozen different sauces to choose from, you've got to try the wings. And you can't go wrong with a Philly cheesesteak or the all-new barbecue sandwich. For lunch or dinner, come in and taste the difference at Dora Cafe. And yeah, back in, ladies and gentlemen, see if Brady Spradlin kicks it deep. Dora plays defense. Bulldogs have got uh, two timeouts left. Elijah Pruitt in now for Dora, wide on the right side over there. At the gunner position, here we go. And it's got to go 10 yards, didn't go 10 yards. It's Hamilton football, ball never went 10 yards. And Brady knew it, he looked down the moment he kicked it. That looks like one of my drives when I'm trying to rip one down the middle of the fairway yeah, and kick exactly. it, hit it about nine yards. So Hamilton on the plus side of the field, that's 49 to start this drive. And if you're door, you got no option here except to get them off the field. Yeah, you've got to here. And the door still have three timeouts left or two? Yeah, I think, I think actually they've got uh, two left, Tony, what I've got here. But, you know, another thing there, I mean, it's coach's decision. Do you kick it deep there with two timeouts, play defense and from the 20, or do you try an onside kick? So you, You've got to go after the football here if you're Dora. Absolutely got to. Jathan Jackson going to keep it to the outside. And he's going to be taken down. We use a timeout there. Jamal Harris on the stop. Loss of, loss of two. You may want to go ahead and keep your timeout here and let it. Call run. it after the next play, I guess. 317. Hamilton's going to milk the clock. Play clock just at 25 seconds. They can run it down to about 250 before they have to snap it. Actually, run it down to 246 before they have to snap it here. Second down, Aggies. Jathan Jackson, he's going to keep it again. And he's going to be back for the line of scrimmage no further. But you got to use the time out here for Dora. Tackled by Waldrop, Dixon, and a few other Bulldogs. Still not calling it. Still Bulldogs not calling it if you're Dora. 225. It's third down. Hamilton's going to milk it all the way down to the two minute mark before they snap it right here. They may take it all the way down and take a timeout here. Play clock at 10, game clock at 212. Aggies to the line, loving wide left over here. And somebody started too quick. We had a back that didn't get set that time for Hamilton. Yeah, that'll cost him five. Ball will be moved back in Aggie territory to the 45, 15 yards, 16 yards remain, third down. Now the clock will not start till the, the snap of the ball. All right, third down for Hamilton. Third down in about 16. Jathan Jackson with it, rolling left. And he's out of bounds. Push him out of bounds. That'll stop the clock. And we got a flag comes flying in at the end of it. Oh, me. Goodness gracious. You got to hope that ain't a personal foul penalty against Dora. It's right over on the sideline where the tackle occurred at. You usually don't get that call against your sideline, so. Dead ball, personal foul against the defense. Had to make it fourth down and two. Now Hamilton might choose to go for that it. may be a first down. Uh, it's an automatic. 15 yards. It's 15 yards unless it's automatic first down. It's fourth and 12. So after the play. After the play, you're right. Oh, me. 
What a terrible, terrible, terrible time to pick up a penalty right there. Seven penalty in the ball game, 60 yards. Hamilton with the first down by way of the penalty. Their 13th in the contest. Minute 52 to go now, Dory. You only got two timeouts. Busted up the middle of the angle, and that's going to wrap it up. He's gone. Touchdown, Aggies, 36 yards. That's the straw there that breaks the camel's back. Absolutely right. Tony, 130 yards now in the game for Anglin, and that'll put it away for Hamilton. Anglin with a 36-yard run on broken tackles. And with a minute 43 in this one, Hamilton just drove a nail in the coffin of the door Bulldogs for this contest. Garcia's extra point is up, and it is good. Hamilton 28, Dora 14. Time out on the field. We'll be right back. At Westwood Appliance, we buy, sell, and service most major brands like Whirlpool, Kenmore, Maytag, Samsung, and GE. We carry a complete line of refrigerators, washers, dryers, stoves, and freezers, and we guarantee what we sell. And back in, ladies and gentlemen, Hamilton Garcia ready to kick it off again for the Aggies. Minute 43 to go in this contest. Now the Aggies up by two scores, 28-14. And it's all resulted after Dora mistakes. Tony, every one of these Hamilton scores tonight. Driving kickoff going to go down and out of bounds, come out to the 35-yard line for Dora. Tony, give him a personal foul penalty there to get a touchdown. A couple of drives ago, you fumble the ball, they grab a touchdown. You get an, another penalty on the drive before that to get a touchdown. It's just inconsistency. Yeah, just too many, just little mistakes like that for the Bulldogs. First down, Bulldogs. Just too much to overcome against any team. Go over the ball, 35, first and 10. Matthew Busby under throws Jamal Harris out here on the left side, incomplete. Hamilton is in a definite pre-event defense now. Yeah, they got center fielder about 25 yards behind the play. It's not going to be an ending like that uh, Houston and New Orleans game the other night. I uh, know. Trying to throw it out here quickly. Got Wilkerson at the 40. Gonna bounce off of a tackle and, and out, of out of bounds at 43. Pass complete to Wilkerson. Ball will be moved across the 40 to the 43. Third down. Sixty-five yards tonight through the air for Matthew Busby. That's for foul start again, I'm sure. Well, you got a three-man line, and somebody jumps offside. That's kind of odd. <laughs> Defense call in the count. Okay. Nine penalties for 80 yards against the Ball Aggies now. If you're Dora, you still have time to score a touchdown and try again on the onside kick. Got to grab one quick here. 90 seconds to go in this one. Matthew Busby drops back, steps out of pressure. He got to run it now. He'll run it forward for 10. And all the way to the 25, giving him a gain of 17 yards. To the 25 yard line. First down, Bulldogs. Eighth first down for Dora. Seven of them coming here in the second half. A minute 20 to go in this one. I 
still think you got to run the ball here with Marcel. I mean, I think. Driving back, loading up, passing down the right side, and tipped and incomplete. Ludwig pass incomplete. Minute seven to go in the contest. Second down. Cold Springs. Got the pass off out here to D. Wilkerson. He's going to get what he can get down near the 22 yard line. Got to get down. <clears throat> and we got flags flying in from everywhere now. Got a skirmish has erupted out here between Bubba and Henderson and somebody. Number 60 for Hamilton. Bubba taking his helmet off. You better get him off this field now. Number 60 for Hamilton, Christopher Norris. There's a lot of Bubba. Bubba frustrated. I can tell you what's wrong with that kid. And we'll probably have offsetting penalties on that. Just hope we don't have an ejection. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They tell the number 76 to turn around and go the other way. Send both teams to the sideline. Send both teams to the sideline. Well, send the door to the sidelines at least. The officials. <laughs> Go ahead, Tony. Officials are getting something to ride on now. That's usually not a good thing. Yeah, it isn't. They're going to recall. They're going to call the state office and tell them about numbers. He'll walk over to both coaches, tell them which kid don't get to play. What do they miss, a half next week, or what is it? Well, it, they have to play. They have a $300 fine. Yep. They have to take a star test, and I think that knocks it down to 100 Oh, good. Okay. But I will say this. I would think the fine from Coach Lockhart on that may be a lot, little bit more. I don't know if it's a good sign for Doris. They're talking more to the Hamilton coach right now. That This may be. Now, you know Dora and Hamilton have a history of mixing it up just a little bit. <laughs> yes, this, this has been, I would say it's not been the most exciting ending to a game that I've ever seen in Dora and Hamilton. <laughs> i tell you one thing, for as fast as the first half went, the second half has taken just that much longer. Still sorting through the laundry over there. Next week, ladies and gentlemen, on the road, as we mentioned earlier, Lawrence County High School up in Moulton, Alabama for the Bulldogs. Lawrence County, what's their mascot? I forgot who they are. They're the Indians, I yeah, think. Are the Indians? Okay. Home of Jesse Owens. Home of Jesse Owens. That's very true. And now Coach Bart Lockhart, he's getting the goods on this and over here on the Dora side. Dora still got 56 seconds in this one. Ball is now going to be placed down at the 23-yard line. What is it down? I do see 76 back on the field. So. Third down. Offsetting personal fouls both ways. So all of, all of that to give you a third down. And, and they are and marking eight. penalties off. Mark them off one way, walk around, turn right around, mark it back in the other way. Unless they got two penalties against one team, one against the other. Now, you know what, Tony? That's amazing. Going to end up right where they started from. 
Third down Bulldogs got to get one in the end zone quickly, very quickly if you're door. Matthew Busby back looking under pressure. Can he get out of it? No, he cannot. Got to use a timeout quickly, Coach Lockhart, and he does. Matthew Busby is going to lose, looks like about eight yards on that run. So Tony, next week, looking down the road for you, if you're Dora, whether you go into that game at two and two or three and one, really doesn't matter. You got to find some consistency on the offensive side of the football. Yeah, you've got to do something on offense. You've just really struggled, really just struggled stopping the run. You've had some some glimpses tonight where you've done better sl slowing the run down, but still just not able to get anything going on offense has just been rough. Yeah, it has, Tony. We just, I mean. Uh, just if I can look here real quickly, besides one big run Jamal Harris had tonight, we've got oh, about 85, down, well, we've got about 75 yards on the ground and 65 through the air. But that's just not going to be enough offense to sustain you against a good football team. No, it's not. Fourth down and very long for Durham. Got to take it all the way down to the 15-yard line for a first down. So. It's basically fourth down and about 16. Busby loads up, pass down the field, up in the it's air. Called for it's a touchdown. Caught. Touchdown. Who Goodman. caught it? Goodman. Goodman on the catch. Goodman. Jamarcus Goodman on the catch, 30 yards for the touchdown. My gracious. That was sort of like a Hail Mary there. Busby to Goodman for 30 yards. And with 40 seconds left in it, Tony, it ain't over yet. Lady Spradlin will try to kick it to 28-21. Snapper in the place, kick holder does their job. Kicker does his job. 28-21 Hamilton. Our score, Aggie 28, Dora 21. Twenty-eight, twenty-one, forty seconds left in it. See, so you've had the onside kick right, and you've had an onside kick in the middle. So which <laughs> route do you go this time? Well, I can tell you what you've got to do. You have got to get the ball back. I don't care what you do. Let's right, see if Dora can get it back. Brady Spradlin will tee it up for the onside kick. We got all sides against the Bulldogs. Playing on the play. All sides. Does the kicking team get an option here to take the football? No, yeah, blew it dead. So you got to re-kick it. You would think. Yeah, this is a. This is going to back it up five yards to re-kick, I believe. Well, Dora with two fourth quarter touchdowns here to make this contest what it is, 28-21. And one thing I'll say about the young men's inconsistency has been tonight, they haven't given up. They've kept scrapping. 
Yeah, Dora, uh, this is a big play here if you can come up with this. I want to see what side all your good hands people are going to be on. You got number 22, Jose, and number two, uh, Harris, over here to the left. You got number 11, Goodness. If you're coming this way, you got some pretty good ones over here to catch football. Yeah, you really, you got Marcel and Harris. You really got it spread out pretty good, though, on both sides. Yep. All right, one more time for it. Brady You went to the left side kick while it goes, so it'd be interesting to see. If you go back with that again. See if he crosses over. Tony kicks to the right this time. Pops it up on the right side, what I see. Stay on sides over there, guys. Kicking to the left again. And Hamilton is going to fall on at that time, and that's going to do it. He's going to have to snap it one time. Or twice, probably. So Dora will fall. On the year two, two and two, as the record will even. Region record goes to so Doors region record will fall to 0 and two again on the road next Friday night up to Moulton to Lawrence County High School. And Tony, you've seen some, you've seen some bad, you've seen some good tonight. So just got to get some things ironed out. Yeah, give credit for the offense for not quitting here at the end of the ball game. Aggie will take a knee. Jason Jackson takes a knee. He'll have to do it one more time and put this one in the books. We're going to wrap things up and get out here. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, remember to go by and tell our sponsors how much you appreciate them sponsoring Dora High School Bulldog football here on WOTM television. And they're not going to have to snap it again. They didn't blow it back in, so that will do it. Final score here from Horace Roberts Field tonight will be the Hamilton Aggies 28 and the Dora Bulldogs 21. Tony, we've got to get a region win next week at Lawrence County. Yeah, it makes the rest of them pretty much must-win situations now. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll thank you for joining us tonight for my broadcast partner, Mr. Greentop, Tony Hedrick. Our photographer, director, Mr. Donnie Early, this is Buddy Sparkman, wishing you a great rest of your weekend. God bless you, everybody. We'll see you right back here next week for another exciting Friday night of Door High School Bulldog football. Good night, everybody. Welcome to ACN Sports Football, a special presentation of the Alabama Cable Network and our affiliates all across the state of Alabama. Since our beginning 34 years ago with Dora High School Football, we have consistently provided coverage of high school and college sports. This program is brought to you in part by Carl Cannon Chevrolet, Buick, Cadillac, and GMC, by Green Top Barbecue, and by other sponsors on our local games throughout our coverage area in 40 counties and over a half a million homes on Charter. Now, stay tuned for today's broadcast. ACN Sports, we've got the game.